Mm. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. Uh, we got a packed show for you guys tonight. We got a packed house as well. Rolo and Sterling in the building too. Yeah. Bro. yeah. Let's get right into it. All the night is my world. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you could, you're more than welcome. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to leave? Serious, get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not how people seem. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's my thing. All right, we are back, fellas. Welcome to the show, guys. Welcome to Fresh Fit Podcast After Hours. Quick announcements before we get into the show. Uh, number one, patreon.com slash fresh fit, guys, where you guys can find all of the behind-the-scenes content. If you guys want to see me kicking out annoying girls to Zoom call coaching sessions to, uh, you know, where we talk about dating, uh, real estate investing. As you guys know, me, me and Fresh are both involved in real estate investments. Uh, you know, getting foreign cars. You just bought a McLaren like two weeks ago. You know, getting your credit up. You know, just becoming a higher status man in general, like getting yeah. your money on point, everything else like that. We talk about that, man, how to become uh, just a better man in general, because here's the thing, guys. You don't become for the girls. You become so you don't tolerate the bullshit that inevitably comes with the girls. You'll have the power to walk away when you know your worth. OK, uh, so that's number one. Patreon.com slash fresh fit. Next, Spotify, Google, Apple Podcasts. We're on every single platform that you guys listen to podcasts, just make sure you wear headphones because you might get in trouble. We've had a couple guys DM us and say that they fired. lost their job for listening to our podcast out loud because they say a lot of shit that's not politically correct. But it's based in empirical facts, include our last episode we just did. We talked about how rape culture is a myth. Uh, or aka grape culture in grape, this situation, grape, grape. but uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we put all the studies there. It was a great, fantastic show with Rolo Tomasi. We debunked a lot of CDC false statistics and a bunch of other myths, such as you know, one in five women on college campuses gets graped or whatever it is, which is erroneous. Like, think about that from a logical standpoint. If one in five girls was actually getting graped on a college campus, no one would send their kids to school. What the hell? like, you know what I'm saying? But we talked about it that in detail. Check out that show after this. Also, guys, get on uh, our merch, freshwoodpodcaststore.com. Uh, where we got the Punisher t-shirts, hoodies, I feel like shirts, which you guys are going to hear a lot of that tonight. And then also, um, uh, for example, Ninja Watchers. You, you want to show them the um, concept of the, um, the, the, the day of the But Who Aren't You shirt? Uh, maybe later. All right, cool. Um, and then uh, also, guys, uh, Fresh, he has a vlog channel. All right, guys, so for, for behind the scenes on the show, uh, my life, Trey's life, Myron's life, and then Chris's life as well, check it out. Uh, you get to see as well, you know, our travel, some of our dates, and some of the Frank Castle's pre-screened um, on vlog channels. So check it out. All right. And then, uh, guys, switch.tv slash Fresh Fit Podcast. Close your Pornhub tab. Open up another tab that says twitch.tv slash Fresh Fit Podcast. Check us out over there because, to be honest, the quality is better over there. He's saying don't close up the yeah, porn, no, no. porn tab. Open one up with me in it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. If you guys want to see uh, Sterling Banks and Girls, search Sterling Cooper on uh, Pornhub and you'll enjoy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> twitch.tv slash Aaron Pox. And Chris, you want to tell them about your Twitch channel? Yeah, guys, follow me on Twitch uh, this weekend. I'm setting up my uh, Twitch stream and uh, equipment and everything. So definitely uh, follow my IG and uh, follow me up and keep me updated. So nice, man. Cool. And then, uh, guys, for any um, ideas, top show topics that you guys want us to cover on air, reactions, etc., check us out uh, on Trey Talk Sports on Instagram. DM Trey. He's our audio engineer and um, YouTube strategy guy. He wasn't. He's not here tonight, guys. He's sick. So that's why we got a little bit of a... <laughs> delay because uh, i'm not as good of a sound guy as he is I, I know my way around but i'm obviously not an audio engineer so you know he could do what i do half the time so uh hit up trey he will be back probably next week also ladies are interested in coming on the show yes guys uh ladies send me a dm on my instagram make sure uh if you're flying into miami you bring your husband or your boyfriend um and let yeah. me know and uh and if you have an instagram make sure that i can see your pictures on your profile not with just zero pictures and private okay so um and then let's book uh, a show together and let's get it yeah um and yeah guys by the way yeah if you have a boyfriend please bring him with you because we don't want to deal with no headaches Facts. uh okay and then uh fresher podcast uh on instagram guys check us out over there that's our new instagram account which because we got hacked and then also i got my instagram account which is back up as well i it got hacked again because we got haters it's unplugged fit with three t's uh so check me out over there so um anyway let's uh introduce the, the ladies, ladies and then the esteemed guests last yeah. and then uh we'll read super chats guess ladies give us your name your age we do for a living 
in your current dating status. Welcome back, Snooky. <laughs> Shay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Shay, also known as Snooky in the chat. I'm 23 years old. I dance professionally for cruise lines, and I'm also a dental assistant. And I do OnlyFans, too. And I'm single. Oh, <laughs> awesome. There you go. Welcome back. Hi, my name is Yitsi. People call me Barbie. I'm a nurse. I also do OnlyFans. Um, and I'm 21. And your current dating status? Single. <laughs> All right. Hi, my name is India. Um, I go by Fendi Indie. I'm not single. And I have OnlyFans also, so check me out. Three for three. There you <laughs> go. Uh, married situationship, uh, boyfriend. I have a boyfriend. Okay. He's actually here right now. Okay, good. There you go. Cello, she's so icy. Um, professional pole dancer, a also artist. Like I could paint stuff for your living room. So like hit me up. A um 26 and I'm single. All right, welcome. Hi. Okay, me. Welcome Hi. back. Hi, thank you. I'm Janelli. I work at the front desk for the Ritz Carlton. Um, I don't have an OnlyFans, but I do. Tom, you're so scared. Number two. <laughs> <laughs> find me here. Doctor, so. Don't stalk her, guys. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> um, I don't have an OnlyFans, but I do have a YouTube channel. If you want to subscribe, Janelle Edith. Um, and yeah, and I'm 22, almost 23, on the 17th. Awesome. And you didn't bring your opinionated friend with you. No, she moved back to Canada. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, oh. but she's gonna come back. Don't worry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, what's your current da the dating status? Oh, single. All right. Probably one of the most hated pa hated panelists of all time. <laughs> Your friend, bro. <laughs> no. like, Top three. Let's, yeah. No, no, not by us, by the audience. Red, red hair. Audience. Yeah. Red hair is a trigger. Yeah. No. No, it's not even that. Because she just like, no, she I'm likes saying, to interrupt a lot. This one goes with red hair. Is that? that yeah. Moving forward. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm mahogany. My Instagram is millionaire underscore ma. I dance. Like, I'm an entertainer. I do music videos. I have OnlyFans. I'm single. That's it. All right. <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks. So, my name is Amaya, but I also go by Frenchie. I'm 20 years old, and I do custom paintings as well as sales and marketing. Nice. Thank you. Current, you current uh, dating status? Single. And how old? 20. All right. Awesome. I'm Kiara. I'm a server, 21. And, um... I'm taken. All right. Awesome. Marriage, boyfriend, situationship? Um, boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> she said that so like... <laughs> yeah, that was like... Uh, okay, she's only 21. Yeah, she's only 21. I mean, so what damn. You, well, what I just think it's so age? kind of... Like, it's weird, you know? It's just be like, oh, yeah, you know... No, we got to differentiate because a lot of girls come in here like, oh, I got a situation ship or we kind of talk or when they come back is like, I'm single. Now. Yeah. Yeah. So we always <laughs> we, we, we like to know. Is, is he in studio today? No, here? I have a boyfriend, but, you know, he's doing his own thing. So you're single. Anyhow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, so super chat. Uh, she boy. thinks she's in a relationship, but he's like, no, nah, I'm single. <laughs> All right, so uh, we'll hit some of these super chats. Yeah, five hours coming. Yo, at he's from... in the studio. Hey, man. <laughs> hey, guy, man. Studio. It's up to Yaz in the studio, man. Uh, coming at you from the studio. A lit show already. Is Frank Castle coming out today? I hope not, bro. I've had to kick out three girls this week. That shit is annoying, <laughs> Who man. Who knows, man? You, you guys think like I like kicking girls out, bro? That shit's annoying as fuck, man. CK, twenty dollars uh, from Canada. Thank you, Fresh and Fit and Rolo, so much for the episode today. It was an important episode for my teenage nephews to watch. By the way, my parents and uncles are huge fans. Keep it up, okay? Thank awesome. you very much. Uh, we got Hollow Killer, ten dollars. Just got back from Cartagena. Walter hey. was right. Hey, Amazing yeah. food and women. To all my fellow uh, young men leveling up, stop dealing with these local three or fours and take a yearly trip to Colombia. Shout out to Fresh and Fit. I will say this, man. If you go to to Colombia, you may become corrupt because over there they're very feminine and they're very good looking. I'll yeah, I mean it, you're gonna come back uh, resentful. <laughs> okay, PJ Washington. PJ Washington in house. Uh, shout out to the NBA. <laughs> Brittany awesome. Renner told that me is to tune awesome. in. <laughs> Oh, man. I was just tweeting about it. Uh, Sooty Tooty, $20. <laughs> Shout out to the computer science major. Same here. Not a lot of us minorities in the field. So happy to see another. Uh, yep. Com All right. Computer science is mine, uh, too. I think we're caught up, right? Oh, switch solo. Hey, Fit, I'm doing this coding boot camp, and uh, I'm still in school. Should I wait till I'm done to date since I can only make 30, 50, 45K at the moment and girls want money? No, man. Go ahead and still go out there and date girls, but don't make them like Focus. the fifth priority, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't go out on a date when you know you got work to do. You know, like, that. you got to get the work done. If you have free time after, then go ahead. Yeah, this Kelly Park Crip. Uh, on 55th Street, these uh, stitches already capping 
Oh, because he can't. Okay, because he can't use the B, B word, blood. Uh, Captain French, uh, fresh. Please get Baby C Mac on the show. I'm gonna hit an item. See what's up. All right. Um, uh, Super Chad, twenty dollars. Question for Sterling: Did you have game before you got in industry? Do you meet a lot of male stars that resorted to sex work as an easier way to get at women? That's a very interesting mm, that's, question. Uh, that's a very accurate assessment. I yeah, I got <laughs> I, I got I got laid before I was in porn. So. Yeah. Okay. We but, know actually that perfectly segues. Can you guys introduce yourselves to the audience that might not know oh, who you guys no. are? You Sterling first? No, you got, you I mean, like, well, you like, if you haven't figured it out yet, yeah. I, I do porn. Like, I have done porn. I, mean, I don't really do that much porn these days, but I'm a, I'm, you can still call me a porn star and I do YouTube and help dudes out in the bedroom. Right. Uh, and he knows how to uh, enlarge your uh, penile. Your cock. Yes, he has a book on it. Yes. Oh, Stretch it. Okay. Jelk it. There you go. Is it a special oil? Jelk it. Special oil? No. Oh. It's, it's a combination of his special African herbs <laughs> <laughs> spices. There you go. That was, that, was, that was the first TikTok that got yeah, banned. Yeah, we did. It got banned. <laughs> you, remember, you remember that episode? Yeah, we've had six TikToks banned. Man, man TikTok. horrible. Rolo. So, hi, I'm so Rolo Tomasi. I'm the author of the Rational Mail series of books. Thank you very much. All right. Um, get, get the books guys. and have been a part of this community for almost 20 years now so uh that's me uh also i am an independent film producer apparently let's play it well, let's and, play and, it. and, and rap, nice segue. rap video producer as well nice segue let's let's like go. that one okay play the clip play all right clip. guys we're gonna uh see rollo's acting skills here ah and this, oh, this is from save a ho oh. this is from save a ho this, okay. is, I, this is a very brief uh, this is a clip, it's home. about a, it's about a two two minute twenty second clip, but okay. this is part of that. Uh, and guys, the link to this uh, the link to this uh, the film uh, slash short film mm -hmm. is below in the description. Series. This as is well episode as, two, as well as all the ladies uh, series, and mm -hmm. as well as all the mm -hmm. ladies Instagrams are also below. So uh, check it out. But uh, okay, let's let's uh, let's roll. You ever wonder, like, what if the roles were reversed, and you were the one that was in trouble? Do you think anyone will come save you? What do you say we find out? I'm gonna say. Wait, hold on, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Let it buff. Yeah. yeah. Chris, have it, have it downloaded, please. It, 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 it is. Oh, it is. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. And it was still given that that. that okay. uh, yeah, you might have to bring like the, gonna the resolution. You're gonna call for help. There it is. There you go. You ever wonder, like, what if the roles were reversed? And you were the one that was in trouble. Do you think anyone will come save you? What do you say we find out? You're gonna save him? You're gonna call for help? See? People forget they are all alone out here. And you, you are fucking with some very well connected people. Like, that's the first good. So that's a that's a clip. That's a that's a clip from Save oh, 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 Go check it out. Go check it out on Kevin Savo's. Uh, now you know why he yeah. had the name the Godfather. Yeah. yeah. And yes, that is my zoot suit. By the way. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Rolo Rolo Spielberg in the house. Yeah. Um, uh, okay. Trap Politics TV. Ten hours. Only fans is a drug. It's embarrassing. Okay. Uh, anything else? Yeah, we got some more. Okay, uh, guys, we already got 5,000 plus live viewers. Uh, 20 enough. So 20 from up. this point forward, I'm going to read the super chats. You guys are smart. You get them all in in the beginning. Uh, we're hmm. going to read 20 enough from this point. Uh, but I will say this. Any super chat that comes across, it will be shown on screen. So don't worry. You will be shown. All right, so five hours. Real quick, shout out to Long Beach Griffey, man. He did a video on us, actually, I think today. He shout did? Out, shout out, uh, us out. Yeah, he oh, said, okay. Um, He's going to be on the yeah, podcast today. next week. Yeah, shout yeah. out to him. So, uh, okay, Majestic, uh, 42, five hours. More women need to know that some women grape other women. Okay, fair enough. Uh, cool Silver, 10 hours. No one wants a pre-made sandwich, not even from a sandwich artist. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Zentian, $50. Roland Sterling, welcome back, gents. Much respect. Uh, Janelle, keep in mind all, all that you've learned here and come and welcome back. <laughs> keep your womanist and misandrist friend fed or she'll turn into a gremlin at midnight. Respect the fresh and fit. Let's roast some three of course. Hilarious. Uh, uh, and then we got Club Clubhouse. Five. Very funny. <laughs> welcome, new okay. member. Yeah, welcome to the Fresh Fifth fam. And uh, we are, are we caught up? Yep, caught up. All right. Uh, Fresh, go ahead. Take it away, man. Cool. So uh, I kind of want to start this episode with something a little bit different. Okay. I got a video. Uh, Chris, there should be two videos there. Let's play the first one. Um, it's talking about, um, well, there's two. You can tell me which one you brought up first, Chris. Um, it should be the, the OnlyFans one. Uh, what's someone asked you to hang out? Nope. OnlyFans. Got you. Well, actually, you know what? Let's do the other one first. All right, cool. Cool. So, you know, we're in a dating market now where, you know, 
we have, we have like a lot, a lot of options or whatever, you know, we go with people and some, 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 you know, some things we like flick and shit like that, right? So for example here, uh, this is Long Beach Griffey doing an episode on when people say, let's hang, let's hang out. And then they say whenever. So, okay. you know, what do they really say? Uh, yep. All right. So let's see here. It was good to see you, my nigga. Like, we got to chill. Like, for real, for real. Hey, a nigga don't be doing shit, bro. So I'm down, bro. Yo, what's up, bro? Where you free? My nigga, literally whenever. Oh, say less. Uh, let's do tomorrow. Oh, I can't do tomorrow. Okay. Uh, Tuesday night. Ah, I work Tuesday nights. Ooh, okay. Uh, next Sunday. I'm busy all day Sunday too. That's so mean. That be me to the T. Oh, next next week. I gotta take out the trash Damn. all week. <laughs> next month. Damn, I actually wow. won't be in town. I will go be time traveling. I'll be in 1997 <laughs> Europe <laughs> next year. It's my kids' birthdays. All of them. All of them. All at the same time. All year. I'm racist. You don't have kids! Oh my god. Why the fuck did you say that you're free whenever? If you're not free! I am free. When? Right whenever. So, you wanna hang out? So, you wanna hang out? So, you wanna hang out? So, you wanna. Okay, so the question is, ladies, why do women flick when it comes to dating? And we'll start here. Why do you flick? If you do it all. Um, I ain't got no lotion, I'm done. Usually, Actually, I, I flick. Well, usually, I don't really flick. I usually follow through. I, I only, if, if there's a better opportunity, like if someone else asks me at the same time, then I'll flick. So if you get a second option that's better, you'll flick on the first one? Yes. All right, let's keep it real. <laughs> Truth. All right. To be honest, it's the mm. same thing. There's a better opportunity that comes along. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. curious, what's a better option? Is it like going on a boat versus dinner, the club? What's a better option for you, you would say? It's not even what I'm doing, but like who it's with or like I'd rather be with my friends or my family mm -hmm. than just someone that I just met. Oh. Mm. Yeah. What if you really, really uh, like the guy though? Well, if I really like the guy, then I'm not going to fake. Okay, interesting. All right. All right. You guys kind of get me. <laughs> yeah. um, I would say I would flake um, because at the moment, like, I probably wouldn't be interested. Like, he probably would turn me off or something, you mm. know, and make me not want to go. The mood. Okay. It, one thing about me, I'm like a spiritual person so it depends on the mood or oh, the spiritual. yes oh wow Bible. so yeah i'm it a gemini the, so i like the flake the i love that i, that. I, I love love that. that i was just about to say you. that you took my line That's i right swear here. all right okay so like how he said i'm a gemini i just <laughs> flake by naturalness like it's just like eh i ain't feeling it all right whether it's a better option or not, I might fall asleep on you. I really don't care. So I'm single because I just want to be single. So how do you choose who to go with then? Like, it's just off a whim. Like, you know what? I mean, honestly, I have my people that I fuck with. So it's just like, you know, you my vibe, you my vibe. If I don't hang out with you, then you know what it is. That is I don't so, hang out with you. So I don't fucking, know what it is. So fucking vague. That means I don't fuck with you. If I don't hang out with you, mind you, you gotta understand, I'm a, I'm a professional dancer. So it's like, in my establishment, I'm so used to men. So it's just like, if I hang out with you outside of work, mm -hmm. I fuck with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Feel me? Because well, well, if it's not in the job, I'm, you know, it's a fantasy. So. so let's say I'm a guy that wants to hang out with you after the club. What should I be like, you would say? If you're drunk and messy trying to talk to me, I'm not going to entertain it. Okay. But if you're talking like some serious, you know, if I fuck with you, your vibe, cool, and you spend some like a good amount of money on me, I might take some breakfast, but I'm leaving you right there at that spot <laughs> and I'm going home. Okay, that's real. Okay, cool. Um, I don't usually flake. Usually, if I agree to like a time and a place, I'll usually stop be the there. cap. No, I mean. <laughs> I mean, like, if someone's like, yeah, let's hang out, like, in general, like, okay, yeah, I'll agree. But if, like, I agree on a time and a place, usually I'm there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Honestly, I can't call Cap. He got on two hats. So I'm confused. I mean, yeah, okay. Thank I'm so you. confused with okay. that. You're capped out. Okay. okay. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> cap, cap. Because <laughs> uh, I know some behind the scenes, so yeah. Okay. He does. See? Okay. okay. Uh, yeah. 
All right. Thank you. Okay, so I basically flex whenever. Um, well, like she said, if I get sleepy, I like to sleep. So if you're doing something more interesting than me sleeping, then boom, I'll come. If it's like a really good restaurant, then boom, I'll come. If <laughs> wait, it's wait. Some, even if a it's bag a involved, boom, I'm there. <laughs> But outside of those things, like, I rarely hang out with anybody unless I want to smoke and I'm not trying to buy any weed. <laughs> then I will pull up. Okay. But outside of that, I'm probably not coming. And then if you're asking me for my number, I'm probably asking you, what are you going to give me? So I need to give you my number. So you already know from the get-go that I don't want to hang out. You feel me? Like, most guys don't even really catch my attention. I like hanging out with girls, you know? I like the honesty, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Well, for me, it depends. Because, like, straight Question. from the jump, I usually will say, like, I'm not interested. Like, I'm not mm. going to agree to hang out with you if I'm not interested. Mm. But if I flake, it's, like, either something came up or, like, I don't like when a guy is too, like, thirsty from the jump. Because if you're like that from the jump, then when we hang out, you're going to be weird. Mm. So then I'll mm. flake on that if you if you change your energy. Okay. So basically, in that sense, see when a guy that's not thirsty, that can be like chill. Yeah, like talk to me like I'm a human being, not a piece of meat. What if he's hungry though? I'm stealing that. What it's, if he's hungry? Respect for me. I'm stealing. Uh, niggas gotta eat. All right. What about you? <laughs> Off like with the best opportunity. Yep. <laughs> that's that. Like why? Because I deserve the best, of course. So, wait, hold on. You just said you. I'm with her though. I'm with her though. I think that like (laughs) I can feel your energy, type shit, and like if I ain't feeling you, Uh I'ma just you know. Just that. I mean. (laughs) What Chris Brown said, deuces. Okay. <laughs> All right. I guess that was a great answer. <laughs> All right. So. So okay. So. I'm sitting here thinking about it through every single one of you. I'm like, do I? Do I not? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like maybe sometimes. Maybe I do. <laughs> I so know. what I got from that was you'll flake even at the best opportunity, and maybe you just. So, but he asked you, like, why? Why I flaked? Yeah, like, why? Because of personal issues. Because so, such as? it's me first. But what's the issues? What's the reason? What was the reason? <laughs> Put some Cardi B in this bitch. <laughs> what's the reason? <laughs> I mean, I mean, if, 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 uh, if you make plans with someone... And you say, hey, we're going to go hang out. And then you decide last minute to flake on an individual and not hang out with them. What is your reasoning for it? You're saying personal reasons. What would that personal reason be? You I'm can a get really one. nice person. I would not flake on somebody unless I had like a specific reason. I'd be like, I'm sorry. You know, and then like come into detail about my reason. <laughs> and they'd be like, okay, we but, didn't need all that. We're I'd simply be like, asking like, what is what would be a reason typically that yeah, you would flake on someone? Flake just, just, yeah. One reason. Work. Okay, work. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, all right. Like, that was that's like Bruh. most of my entire life. So. <laughs> okay, so I wish you had just said that in the beginning. I will admit, I, I know where she works, and I'm like, she's there every day. It's okay. crazy. <laughs> and I'm, 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 I'm okay, all right. Um, big slime. big slime, y'all. Today's episode with Rolo was legendary. I'm a firefighter making a hundred thousand dollars a year, and in our industry, a huge problem is women stealing our pensions from divorce. Marriage is conditional for women, SMH advice. Uh, that is not this t- today's episode, my friend, but we do have a full episode on marriage and how to protect yourself if you get married. Uh, check out our episode with Jen Pratt. Uh, okay, Phantasm, uh, D, $20. I'm insert horoscope here, and this explains my really horrible behavior. <laughs> Vibe, energy, hypergamy, <laughs> intangible metrics. Hilarious. <laughs> okay, um, so I want to sp- spin it. I got a question for the ladies. So all of you guys seem... Hold on, r- real quick. Oh, what? Rollo. Kowalski what? analysis. Yeah. What is your take <laughs> on white women flick? And then Sterling, you could give me your personal uh, opinion on white women flick. I guess we'll, we'll start here because you're going to probably be. No, 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 no. Because it's going to fuck up what they're going to say. 
that if, if we have them because I, I got one thing that i want to get an organic answer okay, okay, okay. that's okay yeah yeah, yeah. Take your time. because uh yeah the, and i didn't want to do that but we've seen this now where if you ask one <laughs> oh yeah you're right you're right if you tell yeah they're gonna change their <laughs> answers you're right you're right you're so right. real quick Sorry, a lot of you guys um pretty much described i, I don't want to yeah. lie but a lot of you guys described some some pretty just off how you feel you would flake so clearly your time is worth a lot to you, right? And you feel as though, hey, I have the right to flake at any time, depending on how I feel at that moment. Can you guys tell us what makes your time so valuable and why a man should fight to try to get out on a date with you? We'll start here. Valuable? Yeah. <laughs> what kind of question is that? <laughs> Yo. Because I'm a human being. Speaking my to the mic. Is, okay. My time is valuable. Yeah. Because I'm a, you know, a human being. So like. Okay. So <laughs> why is your question? time? Repeat. Yeah. Like, please pay attention because if you're going to make snarky remarks, like what kind of question is that? You should know what the question is before you make a statement like that. Okay. Or a question actually like that. I'm sorry. So I'm going to be very, yeah, don't, don't disrespect me again on the platform. That's the last time I'm going to warn you straight up. Now I'm going to make this very nice and clear. A lot of you guys said that I'll flake. Honestly, because of how you feel at the moment. So clearly, you're saying your time is worth more than the individuals that you're flaking on. I'm asking you, what makes your time so valuable? What bring? What do you bring to the table that allows you, how do I say this, that monopoly over time where your time is more valuable than the man's? That's all I'm asking. What do you bring to the table? Okay, you can leave. Sorry, camera's on? Yep. Oh man, that was fast. That was that was quick. Quick as okay. Oh, can I have a pee break? Yeah, you better do it. Now. You might as well. I got pee so bad. <laughs> was it that hard to answer a question? That was a, oh like, my god. Was that an offensive question? It really was. Would you like me to answer it for you? <laughs> Probably has nothing to add to the table. I'm sorry. Like, Yo, you're stupid. Look, I'm about being that. honest. <laughs> Shorty 21, so she probably don't for real. She's just lit. That's what we call entitlement. Even when you're lit, I'm lit right now, and I know how to answer that question in two seconds. It's a matter of maturity. Right. Yo, chick, you can fit out her phone? All right, yeah. Man, that was too quick, man. That was way too quick. That was way too fast. Lost another girl. Oh, she coming back. Oh, okay. Never mind, come back. Way too quick. I think she was just. Is that, really is that a record? What's the quickest one you've ever had? I don't know. Last night was Actually, pretty quick. Yeah, no, last night was pretty, pretty quick. quick. Yeah. I will say this, though. Um, She was on something, bro. That was a self castle. Yeah. That was a self castle. That's what I said. So I said she's lit. Exactly. That's what I was saying. It happened really fast whenever yeah, she was on. Yo. You got it. You got it. You got yo, it. Yo, the moment she said. What kind of questions that was? You know what? I'm pulling my phone real quick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have it. Pull up my phone. You've been here before. Self castle. Pull up my phone. That's it. I'm like, yo. That's that type of energy. Energy. Yeah. That, that vibe. Yeah. Was that's off. That's yeah. the vibe. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That was four days in a row. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have a chair now. <laughs> pull up to the table. There you go. I thought, I thought she was on Zolt for a second. Man, she was on something, bro. I don't know what it was, but she was. Yeah, fresh when when she first walked in the studio downstairs in the lobby, you saw her, right? Fact, she did say. and it's funny. Yeah, that's why I said she was. Yo, I go to eat where she works every single day. She's not like that at work, so she was on something for sure. Friday night. Friday the thirteenth. Friday the thirteenth. Friday the thirteenth. Da da da. We got seven My imaginary Hennessy. We got seven K people in here, guys. Like the video. You saw the fastest Frank Castle or one of the Taking one of the trash ones. out once again. So uh <laughs> anyway. Oh, it's crazy too, because I said oh, in the beginning, like, I'm not your fucking boyfriend, I'm not your sugar daddy, don't disrespect me. And she still had the audacity to say some dumb shit. So it is what it is, man. Uh anyway. Thing uh, is, you're on a podcast. That's your question. She's like, <laughs> come correct. Come it's correct. just honestly, you know what uh, I think? She had nothing for the table. Mm. That's uh, it. Mm. Fresh, uh, this will go away. So, um, okay, sorry, all right, I'll read them real quick and then we'll proceed on. Uh, dot matrix. Hello, fresh fit. My fam, uh, my friend is currently in the army and recently found out he got a single mother, 37, whom has three other children pregnant with twins. He is 21 and talking about marrying her. What do I say to him? Hey, man, he ain't, he's, <laughs> bro, bro, you can only help those that want to be helped, my friend. He's clearly, uh, very stupid and he's gonna fuck up yeah pop tart killer i wonder if they stretched and properly warmed up for this cap marathon capathon i don't know man we'll see 
Uh, G Complex 217, 20 hours. Shout out to the Fresh Fit fam. Can we get a Rolo and Kevin Savile live stream? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, Big Slime. I'll work it out. <laughs> $20. Y'all, today's episode with Rolo was legendary. I'm a fire. Oh, no, we read this one already. Uh, okay. Barba, uh, 20 hours. Homegirl on the pink probably gets up <laughs> like the Undertaker when she Fresh. gets out of bed for something exciting. That's funny. Uh, you got a rebuttal for that? I don't even know what that means. Oh, she probably might not be aware. Never mind. Never it's it's a wrestling. Wow. I don't watch TV. The Mia Khalifa. But this is like uh, really? throwback. Mia Khalifa, man. The what? Mia Khalifa. It's like throwback. <laughs> like WWE. You ain't never seen it's, it. It's fine. She did one over okay. her head. All, All right. right. Mia Khalifa, 20 hours. My husband Frank castled me. SMH. <laughs> well, yeah. Literally. Good reasons. Unfriendly Literally. fire, 20 hours. Complete a sentence without saying like challenge. Oh, that's going to be tough. And then Daryl Blake. Miami. Uh, Daryl Blake, uh, twenty dollars. The other blonde chick that got kicked out the other day, did she clone herself? LOL. Uh, no, it was mm. another one. Uh, Jacob Luster, twenty four nine nine. Thank you guys for exposing me me to the Godfather. Super grateful to have access to the information you guys put out on a nightly basis. Check next tomorrow in a slizzard. I'm calling Frank Castle right now. There you oh, go, slizzard. You are correct. Slizzard. Uh, Mark Martin, twenty dollars. Frank Castle's streak at number four. Thank you, Perhaps. Sammy E. Four in a row, baby. Four in a row, baby. I, I, I got, man. <laughs> Can't you can't make, you can't make up, shit bro. up. Like I really don't. She castled herself, man. Yeah, she was like, she was like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> what? She, she didn't like the fact that I said don't do it again. She didn't like. Bro, yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, you guys class. think I'm crazy when I say this. No offense to the ladies at the table, but most women have never been told in their life like, no, or yo, you're acting ridiculous or whatever. They just act the way they do, and no one checks them on it. So like, they come here, and I got to give them a dose of reality. Like, yo, I'm not trying to smash you, bitch. So I have boundaries here. If you're gonna act crazy, especially on our platform. You can get the fuck out. And this it's is, the first time they've heard that before. This is business, man. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. What the fuck? So, all right. Seahawk, $50. She was mad weird. Had everyone at the table cringing. She was that dumb, and yet she <laughs> she deserves the very best. That's what, Why do you think I was asking? Oh, I didn't think I asked that question. Yeah. Phantasm D, nah, she wasn't lit. She was obviously on an Aries. Duh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Aries. That guy, it's okay. Pete, it's okay. Don't, don't, don't go for it. Don't go for that guy, Pete, you mm -hmm. refused it to invite to gatherings. Game. $20. We apologize about half of the Caucasian delegation. <laughs> <laughs> Our girls in the West, the correct answer to what you should be bringing is beauty, purity, fe purity femininity, and character. Hand the girls the notepad. Oh, well, I guess that ruined that one. Uh, that question is null and void now. It sucks. She left and couldn't add to the show. But damn, that was a perfect example of when you know you don't offer anything at all. How do you provide value? Answer. Watch my Frank Castle myself. <laughs> uh, Nathan Woodard. I've recently discovered the Freshman Podcast, and I'm already a huge supporter. Guys, from this point forward, we're going to go 50 and up. Yep, yeah, 50 uh, and thank up. you so much for the donations. All your super chats will be shown. But we already got, we're climbing on 8,000. So we got to keep the show going. I've recently discovered the Fresh Fit Podcast. I'm, I'm already a huge supporter. The Uncomfortable Truths you both share are worth seven figures and more hair. Yeah, I'm losing it. Keep grinding and I'll keep sharing your channel with others. Thank you. And then Nixon Talks when ours, uh, from Australia. Sterling, you ever coming back to Australia or do you only speak? No, or do you and Oh, do you only speak or coaching seminars? Sydney could benefit from your expertise. Shout out to the Fresh Fit crew and Puxin, who myself... As an AV uh, guy knows it's a lot of work. Thanks again, everyone. Are you ever going back? Uh, you can't get, like, if I went, wow. if I went back right now, I couldn't leave. That's oh. how fucked up the Australian government is right now. Yeah. We wow. just, we just got my, one of my video guys who helps with my, my channel. Mm -hmm. We just got him out of Australia. Mm. It, it took like three of us, like me, Justin and, and Andrew, like putting in all kinds of paperwork just to get him to be able to leave the country. Wow. And, mm. and like work for us. Damn. Okay. Retarded. Two more. Uh, Joe Venzarita, fifty dollars. Is the girl with glasses and the gray dress willing to give an average man a chance? Uh, oh, next to me. Or would you date an average guy? Yeah, Fresh, I mean, depends on his personality. On a, would you mean average, like as in job wise, or average as in like? Well, I'm assuming he means average in all metrics. So five foot eight, fifty thousand dollars per year. <laughs> yeah, if, if they if I like their personality and we get along and we have interest in the same things okay all yeah. right stop the cap <laughs> <laughs> all right um and then hh -H rivy uh 20 dollars. i heard the windows shut down shut down sound when you asked her again Do -do -do -do. Yep. <laughs> okay cool um uh Pretty good i guess he he already answered the question uh yeah. one of the super chats so it's fine we'll go to rollo and sterling's point on it so rollo well she knows sterling first here you go, here you go. sterling when, go. when it comes to flaking right what's your opinion why girls flake and tell, tell us some of some of your, uh, I would say, experiences. Like, do you want, do you want a politically correct answer? No, give it the raw Cause, uncut. Because you guys are retarded. Like, <laughs> I mean, in the nicest way. I mean, like, look, no, no, it's, I'm, I'm just fucking around. But, like, no, yeah, not. you flake because you get better options. That's obviously why. Like, you flake because you get better options. And it's because, like, a dude didn't, like, 
you got all these options in your inbox, and it's like, okay, well, this guy wants me this night, this guy wants me this night, and it's like, okay, this this dude is like more emotionally stimulating than this dude, so it's an obvious choice. Mm -hmm. Like, it's the same thing that guys who have options do the exact same shit. Mm -hmm. It's just that most guys don't have options. Most guys are, are, are simps, and most guys are like thirsty. That's so, true. like, you're not, they're not doing anything that a dude would do if he could, really. Like, but most guys can't. That's the thing. Very well said, Rolla. All right, let's let's break this down. There we, we go. go. There we go. You ready for it? Okay. So, um, the youngest amongst you right now, twenty. Mm -hmm. Oldest is twenty six. Right. Wait, no, the oldest. I'm twenty eight. You're twenty eight. Oh, oh perfect, perfect, perfect age. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Between the ages of eighteen and twenty eight is when women have their most agency in their life because it comes down to their sexual their sexual market value, really. So, between the ages of eighteen and twenty eight, that's when women can maximize that sexual agency um to its fullest so on if, if that girl was still here she would probably agree with this is that she's she's at a point right now and most women don't even realize it's like an unconscious kind of thing it's like they know that between those ages it's like they're going to have that's when you're going to have the most options at 18 and 28 years old that's mm -hmm. when they're younger hotter tighter i mean statistically speaking men are always looking for a woman who is right about 22 23 years old in that in that sort of bell curve right there and as she hits 28 29 30, that's when the agency goes down and that's when marketability starts to go down so what women want or what women can get i should say between the ages of 18 and 28 years old is going to be a whole lot different than when she gets to be 29 30 31 years old so the priorities are going to shift at that point now do women like consciously go hmm you know, I only have 10 years to maximize my sexual. Mar no, that, that doesn't happen. Okay. It's the, the, the proximate cause is like they're looking for the best option, looking for the hottest guy, yeah. the guy who's got the best value, the, who's the best looking, who's got most status, the high value, the quote unquote high value guy. So what happens is they're looking for, I think, on an instinctual level, on a, a, a at some level of consciousness, they understand that they can weigh options during that time. So, so yeah, when we talk about flaking, I've talked about this a few, like a few times on my own show is whenever you're getting flaked, in fact, this is like a, 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 a iron rule Tomasi number three, right? And people lose their minds on this. This is like the most, the toughest iron rule that I have, which is um, anytime a woman makes you wait for sex, the sex is never worth the wait. Because usually what happens if that woman has like really genuine, like animal lust desire for you, you're at the top of the list. You're who she wants to get with, right? She's not going to flake on you if you're the highest value guy that she has a, a, options of at that particular time so if she's making you wait it usually means it's mitigated by something else and usually that's because she has a better option somewhere else and it's mitigating genuine desire mm. so when you're like going oh i guess if i just wait it out if i just persevere if i'm just like you know buy her these things or if i just yeah, if i pr prove to her that i'm the nicest guy that she can you know get with i prove to her that i'm going to be the perfect boyfriend that's when you kind of get into that the friend zone at that point because you're going to get like the when when like sort of like the fatal side of flaking is really the friend zone because now you're actually being flaked on permanently because now you're in the friend zone and it's like other guys have priority over you and maybe like most guys think if they wait it out and they play the long game they're going to get somewhere and even when they do it's never worth the wait right yeah, right, practically, right. practically, like adding on to that really quickly, what he's talking about there when you said like that that idea of enthusiasm, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing is sexier than a woman who's enthusiastic. It wants to get yep. it. Like, yep. it, like, like it makes what you're saying, we're like, Genuine the sex ain't worth desire. the wait. Because a girl who's really keen to meet you, that is going to be one of the best lays you ever have. Mm -hmm. But a girl who's like, uh, and yeah, maybe if you do end up sleeping with her, it's not as good. It's never, the sex is never as exciting and as energetic. Genuine burning mm -hmm. desire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but what about if it's just too easy and you guys lose interest after the first time? Here's my here's my rebuttal to that. Any woman who sleeps with me on the first date is smart. Exactly. Because I am Facts. a catch. Like statistics, like mm -hmm. statistically, like that that website you you linked me to the other day, like the delusion oh, calculator. Oh yeah, the delusion like, calculator. Statistically, <laughs> I am like like on paper. I mean, I'm I'm fucking amazing in person too. But on paper, <laughs> I am legit like a, a statistical catch. Like there's not many dudes like me, like him, like him, like him, like this guy. We are very very rare. Mm -hmm. Like on paper, okay. despite okay. Then add on top the fact that we're actually sociable, like. That we can not carry on a conversation. Not emotionally retarded. Yeah. That's that's putting us even higher <laughs> above most dudes. Yeah. So like I, I see where she's coming from with that though. Like uh, you know, I, I see like, hey, if you have sex with a girl too quickly, a guy you won't I guess you won't retain the guy's respect. 
My, what I always tell it, women is, oh, sorry, go ahead. What you no, no, no. I'm just saying sometimes it'd it, it be a 50 50 turn right. because, like, I got some little sneaky links that done stayed for like two, three, four years. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Uh -huh. But, like, we would never be more than that. Okay. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's more or less like, yeah, sex is intriguing and all of this, but it's like, would it lead to more or would it just stay as sex? That's why I said, is it just too easy? Like, the first day, I give it up to you. What's next? Okay, so um, so here's well, that, the thing. That's, that's your job, is to bring more. Yeah. Right. So, to, keep, to keep him there. Yeah. yeah. That's um, not his job, that's your job. Mm. Right. Yeah, but what about if he just... Sorry to interrupt you, Mark. Yeah. Sorry, um, go ahead. I mean, I'm just going to put it uh, very simply. Uh, guy game is being able to attain the girl. Girl game is being able to retain the guy after you fuck him. So it's incumbent upon you to keep him around. Yeah. Right. If you can't I, do I, it, is... it uh, not you personally, but on the woman. So if the woman can't keep the guy around, that's a reflection of her value, not necessarily the guy. Because if you bring a lot of value to that man to a, a level where he's you're indispensable, like you're an asset to his life, he's not going to so get rid of you. So what do you call value then? What is value to a man? That's a good. That's uh, yeah, great. we're gonna get great. To that. That's, uh, that's a good question. I want to know. I want to know. So, because it's like you guys always right. want to know what we bring. What we bring is either right. pussy what money, what we could build a team. Or what do you bring? All right, one at a time. One at a time. Because we got a bunch of uh, yeah. questions at once. Yeah. So okay, so you're saying what defines value? Well, for a lot of guys, men are very simple. Man, like a woman that's gonna acquiesce to his frame and help him with what he's trying to do. So. Let's say I'll use this example, but every guy is different. But there's certain fundamentals that a guy has got to get from a girl. He's got to be feminine, submissive, attractive, obviously pleasant to be around, uh, not not promiscuous, at least for a marriage or some kind of serious relationship. Like guys take these things pretty seriously. But then from there, once you have the fundamentals down, what it really comes down to is adding value to that guy's life and being an asset to him and not a liability. The problem is a lot of women are liabilities, not assets. A lot right. of women are headaches, and I could completely agree with that. Yeah. All right, so if you meet a girl. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want to add to that real quick. So, for example, right, you said you don't get it up too easy because you might be seen as like just a jump off, right? However, I ain't most, say that, but okay. Well, you were saying that you know we sit with on front front. No, on like, first like, like the opinion, like would it be too easy? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, does, was... isn't it easier for a man? Like, oh yeah, I got this bitch. I fucked this bitch. I ain't gonna fuck with her no more. Boop, That's see, on to the next. Because some guys are uh, really like that. I'm no, just being. No, honest. no, no. You're right. Most guys are like that. However, the top ten percent of guys, they they're like, you know what? I'm the prize. She made a good choice. Mm. Now I'm going to keep her around. But rather than making me wait. But that's what I was about to ask. Okay, so like if you meet a guy and then you have sex with him in the beginning, the first time you meet him, does it make you a hoe or what does it make you? I'm going to be real. For for most guys, especially the, the bottom 80, 80%, they'll be like, you know what? Dynamics is too easy. She's a hoe. However, I never think that. Ever. However, guys yeah. like us, we're like, you know what? She gave it up without, without any type of like issues or whatever. So now, so now I can see she's into me. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take her out. Like the way I look at it is like yeah. if she if she's not wasting she's not wasting my time. Mm -hmm. right. If a girl sleeps with me on the first day, I'm like, good. She's smart. She didn't waste my time. Right. Like, mm -hmm. and now we can build something. Right. Because exactly. you can't build a relationship if you haven't had sex yet. Yeah. Like yeah, we're not we're not we're not living in like you know you know I'm like hundreds of years ago we were with this that. virgin running around and stuff like yeah. because if, if we're having sex now we've got something that we can actually build upon because a woman never actually shows you who she really is mm -hmm. until I after you've had sex with her. You're, right. You're, 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 you it's put a the emotions on. and affections that comes with it when you have sex. You know, sex is very is very spiritual. So when you have sex with somebody and it's like it's a connection, you know what I'm saying? So Mind, honestly, body and soul. Sorry. Huh? No, I said the mind, body, and soul. Yeah, it's like a, it's on. like a connection, but um, yeah. So I threw you like, off. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Just let I'm one sorry. person talk at a time, please. Don't don't uh, interrupt. Very. It's very simple. Women break rules for alphas and they make rules for betas. Yeah, that's Absolutely. what happens. So. Like when he's talking about like she's smart enough to know that that that's, you know, that we're going to connect on that sexual level first. And then from there, we're going to see where we're going to go after that. What when I wrote that rule, everybody says, oh, well, you are you it's exactly what you're saying right here is the most common criticism of that rule. When I say, you know, the sex is never worth the wait if, if a woman makes you wait. So the binary kind of response to that is oh well it's, you know you want a loose girl or blah, blah, blah. no it's not what that rule is about it's about assessing genuine desire right. women i want a woman who's so hot for me mm -hmm. that she will break her rules and throw caution to the wind because oh well maybe he'll think i'm a skank but i really like him so much mm. i'm going to give it to him like on the second date right or the, right. you know what i'm not saying it has to be a same night lay i'm just saying within like the first three dates whatever there has to be that genuine desire so much so 
that she's willing to break her rules to get with me. Right. And right. that's that's the difference between uh, how women treat alpha guys and beta guys. They will break. I don't usually do this. You know, no. Yeah. Well, yeah, not for not for. Yeah. You know why you don't usually do that? <gasps> because mostly cap. beta guys are the ones that you are dealing with. Mm -hmm. But for me, because I'm an alpha, you're going to want to get with me. Right. And so I'm going to break rules for you. They break rules for alphas. They make more rules for betas. Cool. Yeah. Uh, next, um, uh, you had the next topic. You had a question no, or no? No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. Are we still so real quick, and then we'll 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 come back to questions. No, don't so. worry, ladies. You you will get an opportunity to ask yeah, us will, questions. Don't worry. Yeah. We, we're not going to just grow you the whole night. So, uh, okay, uh, Myron, why not go, Jordan? Fresh, stop wearing a hoodie in Miami. Love the platform. It's pretty cold in here, bro. It's man. cold in here, bro. Uh, it's polar bear. And season. then uh, Haru, new member. Thank you. Thank Welcome. you, brother. Fifty bucks. Jr. Days three. Um, be her best option, and she will never flake on you. Her dog can die, and if you're Drake, she will show up no matter what. <laughs> if she flakes on you, she has better options and isn't afraid to lose you. Level up and move on. Yep. Yeah, level up, man. Um, okay, Zentians. Uh, Stutter Prince. I respectfully disagree. <laughs> Bottom 80% men would be more likely to accept the female because of scarcity of sexual access. The top 10 to 20% of men are the ones who will discard a woman because of their sexual access. Uh, you got something for that, Fresh? Yeah, honestly, man, uh, I can see where you're coming from. However, this this thing, right? You got high-value people in here. Me, Sterling. Rolo and Myron, would you discard a girl after the first night? Oh no, but he's he's saying for the bottom eighty percent. No, no, I'm asking you. For oh, the top for 10. me? Yeah, uh, personally, no. But I mean, okay, would yeah. you? No, and you wouldn't because of plate theory. You're gonna yeah. want to have a roster. So. Yeah, oh. would you? Yeah. No, because my t I put time in to have make that happen. Yeah, so my time's valuable. So, off of experience and from you know obviously people in here, I would say just from my uh, knowledge that most guys on our level will not give it up just like that. Now. You might be right. Most guys that don't get get access, maybe they might keep them longer, just because um you know they won't have the access. But majority speaking, most guys on our level will not give it up that that easy. So, yep. Okay. Uh. So uh. Let's see yep. here. No, we good. They're good. Caught up. All right. Cool. Uh. Cool. Next one. I got another video. Uh, okay. To play as well. Another video. All right. Let's uh, let's play it. Like um. Here. Is this what? What's what does this? This one? one's regarding OnlyFans, right? So okay. obviously, you know, the new trend for uh, girls is to have OnlyFans, and it's because you know it's, it's good money. It's online. You can work for, work for anywhere in the world and make content, right? However, there are some downsides to having OnlyFans, as you've yeah. seen in prior episodes and also uh, <laughs> online. So our boy uh, Lombi Griffey kind of goes into detail about these side effects. We'll, we'll play real quick. Oh, baby, that's sexy. Uh, oh, what about this one? Yo, I know you. You be sucking mad dick on the internet, huh? <laughs> <laughs> That's fresh. Wait, wait. I know you. That's yeah. Content. Yeah, 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 Chris, 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 Chris play back, play back, play back. Right, ready? Yeah, yeah. Baby, how about these? Oh, baby, that's sexy. Uh, oh, what about this one? Yo, I know you. <laughs> You be sucking mad dick on the internet, huh? Oh my god, yeah, yeah. that's me. Yeah, I knew that was you. <laughs> yo, I be seeing you all on my Twitter feed. Yo, yo, big fan. Man. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, um, oh that video, uh, when you went to Home Depot and you paid all them immigrants to run a train on you. <laughs> yo, that shit was mad wild, bro. <laughs> oh, yo, or that video when you was sucking dick in church while the pastor was preaching. <laughs> yo, I gave you the biggest tip on that video. Yo, oh, you god. are. Amazing. Oh, stop. Well, that time you put the lemons in your pussy and you squeeze Yo, the that's lemons fresh, with your 100%. pussy so you can make lemonade. Oh, did that fuck your pH balance? <laughs> Babe, uh, we gonna buy these clothes, right? Yo, this your boyfriend? Yo, yo, you the dude that be fucking her in the videos, <laughs> yeah. right? I yo, did. yo, dick mad beefy, bro. That the dude? Uh, no, <laughs> nah, that, that's not uh -huh. me. I can relate. Yeah. Oh, shit, yo. Did you know she had a OnlyFans? Absolutely. I support my honey pie a thousand percent. <laughs> Yo, you mad lucky, bro. I bet you be hitting this one. fine piece of ass every night, huh? Nope. Excuse me? Yeah, she's part-time celibate. So um, she only yeah, has sex celibate. when she's what working. Is... You know, she doesn't like to mix business with relationships. Well, you know, no, she's so determined. Yeah. To be honest, I haven't even seen her naked. She doesn't wow. let me watch her OnlyFans. She has morals. Baby. She has morals. We've decided we're gonna wait until marriage, <laughs> until I see her naked, and then five years into marriage, that's when we're gonna have sex. She's so amazing. I felt that. All right, okay. close it. Okay, so first off, send the video on the table. Yeah, yeah, it's going on the table. 
Yo, no cap. That's fresh one percent. Yo, I know you. <laughs> I seen you before. I seen you before. I wonder how. Did he do that earlier? Yeah, he did. did uh, <laughs> I saw you. I saw you earlier. Shay started last time, right? Yeah. So okay, yeah. we'll start here. Yeah. What's your What's your first uh, reaction to the video there? I think it's funny because I've seen a lot of scenarios like that where that is the case. Fresh. I mean, not every girl ha ha that has an OnlyFans has situations like that, but I've seen scenarios where the girl really does have everything online and then she'll be with a guy but she won't be sleeping with him because of respect or morals when in reality she, you know she's just using him for his money or using him for whatever he has that's a trick so that's kind of <laughs> that's kind of my perception from it and it is funny because that happens a lot in real life facts mahogany has only fans yeah, and <laughs> I really do not like when girls are having sex on OnlyFans or sucking dick on OnlyFans because I was selling videos before OnlyFans even started. So OnlyFans like messed up what I had going on. So it's something like I, I couldn't beat them. So I had to join them. You feel me? But girls on there sucking dick and fucking look so stupid. Go be a porn star. You're not even getting like half of the money or even close to the amount of money you could be getting. Sell the videos private. Like, that, hold on hold on um so you said it's stupid what they're so you, did did you join them in the same doing the same thing no i only post nudes on there oh so you don't smash on on OnlyFans. no i'm not even playing with myself or anything like that right. like you're barely going to see any pussy okay <laughs> all right you gotta pay for it <laughs> oh, but, right. so, but you do sell videos on there then yeah i do sell videos but personally not like on the website does that right. make sense like i will only send them to you personally okay oh, but, so they got but, a max for it yeah but but, but through only fans though mm -mm. you have to pay more right yeah you see, have to pay more it's basically not, yeah. she's she's, 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 she's posted like oh he knows, he knows. videos he knows. no 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 right. i mean we, 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 no, no. we i know, we know that we but know, my thing is this so you're on the platform, but they have to directly message you and ask yeah, for sex right. videos. Then you sell yeah. it to them through, yeah. but, but you're still selling it to, to them through the medium of OnlyFans. They have to pay extra, though. But I mean, it doesn't. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're I... right. Your question is right. You said it right. <laughs> you said it right. Don't get frustrated. You no, got it. no, it's just no like... your question isn't making sense. No, no, no it wasn't sense. a question. Like, not like it was, that, but like you're saying, like, am I still using please, OnlyFans? Please, please. Do it? If she's talking to him, let him ask a question. Okay. One on one. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. So. So you're selling sometimes, the videos. Sometimes it would be through OnlyFans. Not really. Like, I would send it through text. That's the platform. You get what I'm saying? Okay. But, okay. But regardless, they're paying you through OnlyFans. Or Cash App. Or Cash App. Yeah. Okay. But typically, it's your OnlyFans subscribers that are paying for said service. No, it's half and half. People hit me up on Instagram, too. That's what I'm okay. saying. I was already selling videos before OnlyFans. Okay. So so some some clientele comes from OnlyFans. Some comes from uh, uh, Instagram. Okay. Um, I haven't witnessed a scenario like that in real life, but I don't know. That sounds a little embarrassing to me. I don't know. <laughs> Just a little bit. Right. Embarrassing for who? The man or the woman? Um, I guess both. Like the girlfriend and the boyfriend a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Who do you think is winning in that situation? Um, I don't know. It depends, Speak honestly. To Sorry. I guess I don't know. It depends. If the okay. girl likes the attention, I guess she's winning. Okay. But if the boyfriend is unaware, that's kind of awkward. Okay. Wait, wait. You ever been recognized like that on the streets? Like, uh, I, I'm, you know I, I love your work, man. Dude, I can't believe it's you in the never, flesh. Never, <laughs> ever, ever. I've been recognized from YouTube and from this show. Uh -huh. Never from... Because no, no dude's going to be like, Object all Dude, you're going to say that. No, it's going to say that. Well, unless they're uh, on the other side. Actually, no, no. I tell a lie. Only at AVN. That's oh, what happened at AVN. That's a convention for that. What about like women? Have women come up to you before? Uh, only at AVN. Uh, with the whole OnlyFans thing, um, I gave up on it the moment of the pandemic, like mid of pandemic. So, to be honest with you, I don't really got an answer for it. I really just don't pay no mind to it. I still got subscribers though, for some reason. <laughs> They're there. So, so do you think is is uh right? Is wrong? Do you think it's like uh funny the video? Uh, the video is funny. Mm -hmm. Um, to be in a situation like that. Um, it depends, honestly, because if you're a hoe and you and your nigga is hoeing it out on camera, <laughs> be proud of it. Y'all making money off of it. Have y'all seen Suki Hana and her man? Okay, yeah. listen, she is proud. That's okay, right. she is fucking her man and making a million dollars off of it. 
ain't no problem with it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But it's different if, you know, if your man's insecure and you're doing that on the side and he doesn't know, well, that's very embarrassing for you, you know? Okay. I got you. Um, would you say that, that that's an uh, accurate assessment of what happens a lot of time with... Uh... I doubt all the time. Because oh, at okay. the end of the day, everybody jacks off to somebody different or masturbates to somebody different. So whether it's OnlyFans or Pornhub, it's just... Nobody's going to really remember. Uh, no, I mean, I mean as in that... with the context, like a boyfriend that dates a girl that's in the oh. sex industry and she doesn't smash, smash him, but she smashes other dudes. Well, that's their business. <laughs> Whatever they got going on, so honestly. You, you don't you've never seen situations like that before? I've seen a lot of situations and I've been a part of a lot of situations. I just don't want to put my opinion on that one. How about that? Okay. Uh so I'll take that as a yes that she that's probably she knows some guys that are in that situation where their girl's gonna smash by other dudes for money. Meanwhile, he's not he's smashing her. So okay. And then he kisses her at the end of the club. Yeah, it'd be nice. <laughs> yep, I figured. <laughs> <Ugh>. <laughs> All right. I mean, I have an OnlyFans. I haven't been social on it lately, but um, when I do my OnlyFans, usually I do like more of like twerk videos, show my ass because I love my ass and little titties. And you know, I'm petite with a little shape, whatever. So that's what I do. But I mean, if they want more <laughs> to see me and my man, we do we do videos. You know, um, we have different social sites or whatever. If you want to go on it. But um, if they want more, they have to pay extra to see that. My OnlyFans is only for like twerking videos or, you know, showing my shape and shit. But so similar to her where it's a platform that you can have other business on. You can yeah, create other opportunities. But if you want if you want extra, you have to pay extra because it's, it's this body is extra. <laughs> so if you want if you want to see more, you have to pay extra. You know what I'm saying? Like. Extra. Okay, we yeah. think we got it. Uh, we Read have all to pay about extra it. To extra. See more. extra. Okay. Read all about it. I'm an extra bitch, so it is. So what's what extra on, underneath? Huh? So what's extra um, underneath? My boobs and my ass. That's what extra. That's what's extra. Oh, so me. the same thing? It's, uh, oh, it's not the same thing because it's not the same thing. That, listen, content. one thing about Two nipples, it, every vagina? girl is different. You really? know, everybody bodies is different. Uh, my Circles? body is very different, gotcha. so you know they got to pay extra to see it. It is what it is. All right. Fair enough. All right. Cheers. Let's see. I thought the video was hilarious. Um, I felt bad for the girl and the guy. Mm. Um, I do OnlyFans. If you want to see what I do on OnlyFans, well, you have to subscribe. I'm not going to talk about it on here. I'm not going to give away my business like that. <laughs> okay. okay. Have you seen that happen to other guys that you know? No, I haven't. Okay. So you don't know any situation where like a guy is with a girl. She's doing things, whether it's some kind of sex work and he's not smashing, but he's in a relationship with her. No, I don't. Usually the girl's smashing whoever, both. Mm. Okay. So the guy is, is also banging other girls, what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Most right. of the time. Okay. No, Especially in Latin culture. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I, oh, I, yeah. I, I can see that. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, no, I thought the video was funny and I never really thought of that happening so it kind of geeked me out a little bit but i mean fuck it <laughs> <laughs> okay cool so um uh two oh, uh demi god jones notice no not one of these chicks said it's foul that actually uh, the actual females do this to guys yeah i was gonna weigh in on that and then alejandro lopez uh thank you so much for that by the way 50 bucks uh alejandro lopez 100 bucks sex can't make relationships but no sex can break relationships if a girl wants to smash but doesn't do it because of arbitrary reasons then for me it's a red flag abundance mindset okay zentians 50 dollars men don't pay for porn it's free with several states making 304s work legal and possibly even possibly more even if states are using women as a commodity women don't value themselves and sell their bodies nothing is sacred that a man can't get for cheap holy shit damn, damn. wow that's true anybody right. got something to say to that mm. no eight, eight, i agree right it's well, I mean, <laughs> all right we got 9929 live Should viewers we go. almost at 10k so get guys thank you so much up. for the support please get the likes up okay. uh okay so, so uh, I, will, I will jump in here real quick Mario. Sure. that is ex that video portrays something that is extremely common in the porn industry mm. extremely common that exact scenario we've talked about it yeah yeah mm. um i mean i'm gonna uh i guess i'll say my piece and i'll turn it to our special special guests here so they can go a little bit longer this is why i tell you guys all the time bro if you're with a girl and she's not fucking you she's useless you need to break up with her you know what i'm saying <laughs> and i know that sounds fucked up to say it like that but as a man and i'll explain why the, the long long story short why a woman is useless if she's not smashing you and you need to get rid of her is because 
men don't ask for much. Yep. We really don't. We're very simple creatures. So, wait. well, I knew this was going to come. <laughs> so, let me just finish. Hold wait. On. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let her finish. Hold on. Let her finish. So, um, so men, when a, when a man deals with a woman, he inherently has to bring value because women don't fuck with you unless you bring value. Whether you're taller than her, make more money than her, confident, attractive, whatever it is, you have to bring value to the table to deal with a woman, period, right? She's not going to fuck with you unless you bring value. However, men are more than content with dealing with women that bring zero value if she's attractive enough and she's sexually available. So that's the difference. Since we ask for far less than women do, what we ask for from you has more weight, right? Sex, silence, sandwiches, right? Ha, ha, ha. Very funny. We can equate it. 33% each, right? What do women want? I want you to be taller than me. I want you to make more money than me. I want you to be confident. I want you to be spiritual. I want you to be fucking uh, big dick and all this other stuff. Like, there's a bunch of different things. If any, any woman at this table can easily list 20 things that they want in a man, if you ask a guy, he's going to struggle to give you five. So, you know what I'm saying? So, since men don't ask for much, the least we require is some sexual access. If you can't do that, you're effectively useless. Uh, okay, you question. Sure. <clears throat> a long time of having sex with a certain person, right? Let's say uh, six months to a year. Don't you guys get bored? Bring another girl into the bedroom then. Oh, mm, damn. No, that's, no, I'm serious. Like that. If if your Look, man is getting bored with you, then why wouldn't you just introduce another girl into the mix? Okay. Because then you're in control of it. Well, instead you're in control of, of introducing it. another girl. What if he says girl, no? What if? What if he says no? No, there's guys. He won't say no. Guys, you're trying to tell me a dude is, is saying no yes, to a threesome. Yes, yes. Then he'll you're, say. You're talking to a man who's retarded. <laughs> <laughs> if he's saying but no but to a threesome. I honestly feel like one at a time, one at a time, one at a time. Honestly, feel like if a man, if a man is getting not interested in the girl or whatever, once you just talk to her and tell her what you like and what you don't like, so she can, you know, figure it out. You know what I'm saying? Instead of just. Throwing her to the so side, like tell her what you like and not like, so she can be submissive to you. You know, what I'm that's saying? that's a reasonable question, but most guys are too pussy to do that. Right? Yeah, yeah, a lot right. of people, a lot of guys like communication with that part, and especially the like they can be like, "Bitch, do better." Like, yeah, that, it's the, the it's not it's, it's not that they can't communicate it; it's that they are afraid to because yeah. they're afraid of losing. Scarcity. You. Yeah, it's okay. a scarcity mindset, scarcity yep. mentality. Yeah. And not only that. I mean, let's be honest here. Women aren't really good uh, <laughs> assessors of critiques. You guys are very emotional, right. you know, yes, and you guys take are. things to heart. Literally, what, 30 minutes ago, <laughs> I asked the girl a direct question. And instead of like answering the question, what did she do? She responded with emotions when I gave her a very, <clears throat> she made a claim. I'm special. Okay. What makes you so special that a guy that like you're going to, uh, your time is more valuable than the guys. What was her but, response? How dare wait, you? you know but wait, 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 wait. Like, that's not speak, but that's not speak for, just speak for her because that's not all girls. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Here's we the thing. We all have our own opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Here's and, the thing. You know? Here's the thing. We've interviewed hundreds of women on this podcast. At hundreds. This point. hundreds. Hundreds. So the reality is this, and we have empirical data. Shout out to Rolo and the, to, to Masi being in the house. Women process things completely differently than men do. You guys process things through emotion. So even if I say a fact, you're still going to run it through your emotions first. I feel like this feel makes feel me feel it. this way. Let me respond with that and to throw out the logic and the reasoning. So the reason why so many guys aren't honest with women is because y'all can't handle the fucking truth, man. If we went around and told girls, you need to fucking lose weight. Yo, you need to stop being obnoxious. You need to stop being a bitch. You need to stop being rude. You need to stop being useless. You need Misogynous. to start cooking more. What they're going to say. How dare you? Because here's the reality. Anytime you hold a woman accountable for her bad decisions, bad behavior, or anything else, don't judge me. You're a misogynist. You're toxic, blah, blah, blah. But we have no problem telling guys, you're bum, you're broke, you're a dusty ass nigga, you, you're, you're fat. <laughs> it's okay to hold men accountable, which I say you should. If you're a failure, you need to be told you're a failure. But we do not hold women to that same standard. If a woman is fat, rude, or whatever, love your cur curves, girl. If she's an annoying bitch, oh, you're just strong and independent. They can't handle you. No, it's both parties have to self-improve. It's just that women don't take constructive criticism well. And here's yeah. the problem, you know right? Let's, let's say, right, we do tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. You know what? Babe, you look fat in that. Mm -hmm. You know what, babe, I cheated yesterday. You know what? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> you. Sleep on the couch. You, I mean, you, you're you're, you're literally going to say, you know what? This nigga is disrespectful, rude. I'm out. But there's also so, a different so, 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 so men... Men might want to say the truth to you, right? But in reality, like you said earlier, your emotions are going to take, uh, you know, control, and then at that point, he's going to lose you, so he doesn't want to. You know yeah. what? And you know what? That conditions men to do what? Lie, lie to you. Right. They you, got to. you train men to lie to you. You're, to. you're, you're proactively selecting, and you're proactively selecting for the dudes who are the best at lying to you. 
Right. That's, that's, that's just a harsh you're thing to say. Grooming them. You're into grooming, good liars. You're grooming I, men yeah. to be good liars. Honestly, yeah. I just feel like you guys, Merch. men don't have feelings. You know, women, we have feelings. So when we have sex with another person, <laughs> it's very more Wait, what? emotional. She's you know not, what I'm not. She's not 100% wrong. No, no, no. And not, I'm dead ass serious. When we have. When we okay, it's it's the difference between guys. When you guys have sex with a girl, you guys can have sex with several girls. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And without emotions, that's true. That's true. That's true. Absolutely. But when a woman have sex with a guy and his shit is good as fuck, of course we're gonna have attachments. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. it's like it's very spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Like it's um it's it's vulnerable. It's like when you have sex with a girl and you touch her soul, it's a, it's soul to soul. <laughs> So, you know, it's very, very, very vulnerable. We get emotional. We get attached. We get to the point where we don't want you to talk to nobody. If you talk to somebody, we're going to kill you. We want to, you know, we want to go crazy. But to you guys, you guys could just fuck whatever. You could fuck a fucking snake if it had a pussy. (laughs) And you would be fine with it. So, okay, let's not not lose um, sight here. (laughs) Remember, the, the original concept was, right? That women are emotional and you guys can't handle the truth a lot of the time. Yeah. Okay. So basically just double down my argument for me that women prioritize emotion <laughs> over everything else. And look, Simple as that. And look, you I just you, feel like I can't handle cor- the truth. You are correct in saying that. Mm-hmm. However, you know what? This isn't this is the yeah, next question. Okay, sure. So two scenarios here, right? And I think you probably answered this one already, but it's fine. Let's say right, you have two options. A guy that's gonna be loyal to you, but He's not your ideal type. He can come up from work, watch TV, want some dinner. Unexciting. We don't want guy. him. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And there's another guy that's successful, over six feet tall, very, very handsome, but he may cheat from time to time, but he will take care of you. We want him. Who will you choose? <laughs> that's the problem. And, and why? And, and we'll start We'll start right here. Um, I would choose option B. So the guy that's successful, six feet tall. Uh, yeah, Why? because if you're if you've got all that going for you, and if you're taking care of me, then you know you can. That's fine. Okay. And and it's, I feel like it's bound to happen, like especially as an alpha male, you're going to mate with other females. Wow, that's a very okay, cool, awesome. <laughs> well, hopefully, I can find a mix of both. But mm-hmm. if not, then you know the alpha male, of course. <laughs> You're not going to get a mix of both. It's yeah, <laughs> because they're, they're completely counter uh, counterintuitive. Man. Like a, a guy that's alpha isn't going to be a, a gentleman. Like, I mean, there's a whole situation like that, but th- no, we, we, I don't even want to get into that. Rant. Let's continue on. Let's continue on. Let's continue yeah. on. Cause I don't want to rant about it. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to just put it straight for it. A good girl wants a bad guy and a bad guy wants a good girl. It's straight. It's straight up. Like, it's like, we can find somebody that we like and that's good for us and that will do whatever we want and we still don't like that person. Then mm-hmm. we have this guy on the side that's dogging us out, treating us like shit, but got good dick and we want him. So it's like it's it's like a battlefield to me. I'm like, speaking of facts right now. It is. That's some I'm straight some facts real right now. Shit. I'm gonna keep it real because that's what I that's what I do. His penis will touch his soul. It yeah. is what it is. <laughs> like I said, the path he, to your soul. One is thing about it, right a girl, there. honestly, a girl, honestly, girls like a bad guy. And it is what it is. Like, we like a bad guy that can dog us the fuck out and has good dick that can fuck the shit out of us. That's what it is. And versus us is a fucking nerd that comes along. He's, you know, he's doing everything possible to make you happy. He's, I think she answered you know, the question. Everything. Yeah. But we just still, it's just something about him that we just don't fucking like. All right, so many bumps, like, too many bumps, too many bumps, too many That's very good. 100%. Crazy. Okay. Me, personally, I would just keep A and B because it's beneficial <laughs> both ways. Uh, okay. I'm just being that's honest. Very tell- I, that's very telling. I have my regular guy, you know, that I feel regular with. And we have, you know, the regular stuff. And then I have my party time, my great time. And, you know, I don't have to worry about you because you want to dog me out. That's fine. I'll do the same thing to you. I don't care. Like, it's a vibe. I don't know. That's just my opinion. So you want both options. You got to okay. make no, that t-shirt, No, I have both man. options. <laughs> oh, shit. I make it that way. Like, I'm not. No. Fuck that. Does does your uh does your boyfriend know that you what boyfriend? Oh, your good guy or your guy that you have the consistent guy, does he know? 
Everybody knows. <laughs> oh shit. I'm very honest. That's why okay. I went earlier when y'all was talking about honesty. I am very open. I will let you know about him, him, him. Okay. This is what's going down. Okay. We gonna chill this day, or you wanna chill on that day. It is what it is. If you can handle my honesty, I can handle yours. Okay. God damn. So they so they uh so you tell them openly very about, tough. about what you uh other men that you're seeing and everything, and they're okay with that. I mean, who are you to tell me what to do with my life? Damn. I'm just being right. honest. Damn. Okay. It's my choice. You know what okay. I'm saying? If I choose to be with him and then, you know, he has an interest in me and then I choose to be <laughs> with him too, he has to know about him. It's just, I'm sorry. Okay. So I they gotta know, know about each other. What the fuck you doing here? <laughs> you were here earlier. What the fuck you, you doing You guys here? be doing it to girls, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, why can't do it to them? You know, like, I, shit, uh, well, I, I done been played too many times for me not to play now. I'm well, playing. Well, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of reasons for why it's different, but, um, okay, and, and, it's, and none of these guys. I wear condoms. Okay. <laughs> right. I Let's get put that. it that way. Okay. Um, all right, so they so they know what you're doing. So you're not in like a serious relationship with any of these guys. All casual. No. Okay. All right. Cool. And not necessarily mean that I have to have sex with them every time we meet. No, I'm a vibe personality. We could chill and have talk shit, drink. Boop, wait, wait. So fun. you don't like raw dogging? Hell no. For what? Right. That's that's the shit she's talking about. Stop that's the spiritual cow. shit. Yeah. Next. Because... Next. <laughs> um, honestly, I would want a mix of both. I agree with you. Um, both are a little bit extreme for me, <laughs> just being real. Mm -hmm. Um, someone in the middle, please. It's impossible. Yeah, it's pretty impossible. much. It's yeah. either A or B. Very so. A or B. Pick one. Very so. Pick one. I can't pick one because it's too both. extreme for yeah, me. Yeah, very, that's very if so. you had to pick that's, one, though. That's the optimization. I mean, the most stable one, you know. The one that I would be B. Fairy tale. B. Oh, that the, means he'll be cheating on you, but he got the money. Very so. I mean, I don't know. This is all hypothetical. So I guess whoever I have the best chemistry with and whoever seems the most a. stable to me. What do you mean by stable mm -hmm. though? Because he could have money, I but mean, he could be a party animal. Yeah. So like so if you so have a family, like thinking if you have like kids and you have a family, like, you know, if your dad is out every night cheating on, you know, on your mom and then the kids, you know, know that that's very like unhealthy to me in my mind. So, so stable is like you could be broke and chill. You don't necessarily have broken show or again in the middle because broke isn't realistic either because you have to support. Let's, let's not attack her on what she's saying. Let, let, just <laughs> let, let her get her opinion across, and then we'll we'll uh, assess it after. So, uh, what about you? Um, that's hard for me because I really hate cheaters, but I like money, and I don't <laughs> like a boring time or a boring person. Yeah. So. I don't know, but cheating, like, if you cheat in my face and I catch you, mm -hmm. I might black out. So it's not, like, purposeful, <laughs> but I don't want to go to jail, you know? So oh, I don't shit. know. Like, So I might just be better off being alone, you know? Like, if you want to take care of me, be my sugar daddy, that's fine. But if not, then I don't know. Nothing too serious if you're a cheater. Don't play with her, man. She'll come after you. <laughs> what about you, N nice guy? or? I feel like, as Merch. everybody Merch. else said, that's difficult because... For me, you guys explain the nice guy. He he comes home, does the same thing every day. I'm not that type of person. You know, I'm a painter. I like to paint. I'm artistic. I like to do fun things. But that doesn't necessarily mean I want someone that's cheating. And it's not even about the money. Mm -hmm. It's just I want something that interests me where we can mm -hmm. grow yeah. together and kind of do new things, experience new things. So it's difficult. But I guess considering the way you, this, you said it, I'd have to go with B because I can't be with someone that does the same thing every day and doesn't want to grow. Right. So, so um, a lot of you guys said, uh, uh, quite a bit of you said, hey, I would prefer someone in the middle. The thing is, is that it's very, di it's very difficult for a woman to find a guy that's exciting, attractive, has his money together, you know, pretty much an apex male that's going to be faithful. But you can definitely find a guy that's going to be faithful, but he might not, you know, trigger you the same way sexually and arouse you. So, I mean, you kept it real. You said, hey, I just get the best of both. I, I got one guy that's a good provider, maybe a nice guy, and then I got a bad boy here that I can be excited with. And I think that's what most women do is they date. That's why so many women date non-exclusively because it's very difficult to find both these traits in one man. Yeah, I'll just say this as well, just regarding that. I can't tell you how many girls will have a boyfriend, a sugar daddy, and a guy they smash on the side. Mm -hmm. And it's not because they can't find one guy. It's like, you know what? Why choose one when I can have all? And luckily for you, they know each other. But some girls, no, no, no. They, don't... Again, they don't know of each other, but they know that there's someone else. You get me? I'm not going to sit here and be like, hey, look, 
I'm talking to this person. So, you know, look oh. at their Instagram. And yeah, that's that's who you competing with. Nah, I ain't doing that. Oh, that's, that's, that's I ain't doing that. No, I ain't doing that. So they just. Nigga, look, that is someone else. You don't know me. So they have okay. an idea. Somebody else is there. But they don't know who it is. That's none of their business. That's oh, my business. I thought it was Jack. Me, Jack, me, me, oh, me, oh, Bobby. I thought Bobby, was like, Bobby oh. me, Jack. No, I'm like, no. Okay. We're not doing a family function oh, okay. in here. What's going on? But, but yeah, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, though, a lot of girls kind of like put guys in categories and they'll use them to their advantage. No, that's not, mm-hmm. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just no, saying. No, but it's true. It's I, true. I'm just saying that's the culture that we live in. Now. 2021. On the other angle. You know what? I won't ask a question yet. But, ladies, think of a question for the guys on the panel. In the meantime, super chat. Oh yeah, yep. sure. So, uh, Leo, fifty dollars. A woman once told, uh, "There's nothing sexier than a man who owns his flaws." Is that true? <laughs> no, Bonaga Black. Uh, uh, I, you know what? I'll just make this very simple, bro. <laughs> yeah. Never listen to female dating advice, man. Just yeah. don't do it. It's 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 ninety nine percent of the time cap. Okay, this girl's talking about souls connecting, but has her cheeks spread open on the internet. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no, Bonaga Black. Uh, Homeland Security, uh, Mr. Gaines, we're looking for senators who are good at kicking people out. Interested? Second, can you check the Aussies' paperwork for us after the show? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! That's funny. Oh, it's illegal! Oh, yeah. uh, okay, Jabrizi Magic, shout out to you, bro. How is the only fan girl talking about spirituality? She's selling her spirit for $5.99. <laughs> Yo, you got a rebuttal yeah. for that? You got a rebuttal for that? Yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to our boy Jabrizi Magic, uh, Jabrizi, celebrity magician man. out there in Vegas, man. So go subscribe to his YouTube channel, follow Zentians. him on Instagram. Uh, Zentians, gents, notice how the women said that they want a good average guy, but what they omitted was the fact that they only want him when she's pushing 30 and wants to be a buzzer beater. If she doesn't give you her best at 18 or 24, don't invest your best. Oh, shit. Right. Then we got OJ Simpson in the house. I All guess right. this is really funny. He was here last night. Hey, night. it's the original Fresh and Fit checking in. Shout out to Fresh and Fit. Fellas, I haven't been with a black woman since 84, <laughs> but that black girl two down from Fresh looks amazing. India, could you twirl for the juice? Oh, wow. No. Huh? Can you uh, OJ before? Simpson is asking uh, for you to twirl for the for for him. I don't know if he. It's up to you. You want to advertise your OnlyFans? Oh, okay, all right. See more on OnlyFans. Uh, she, link below. She's taking though, uh, OJ. So I'm taking. So if you want to take both of us, hey <laughs> there you go. OJ, there you okay. go. Hey guys, we only have 3.5k likes on YouTube. Yeah, guys, what? do us a huge favor, uh, man. Can you guys get us to at least? We should be at seven six, to eight thousand. Seven thousand at least. We got ten thousand eight hundred live viewers right now, guys. Thank you so much. You could be anywhere else on a Friday night, but you're here with us, and uh, yep. There's a reason why we're the number one male self improvement podcast in the world and the fast growing podcast in the world right now. So thank you guys so much for the Thanks, support. Guys. It's because of you guys. So um, ladies, all right. question for the men on the, on the panel. We'll start, I guess. Uh, who, who, who who has the question first? Or a comment or a disagreement, either or. A question, comment. I'll go. Cool. You got a porn star on the panel. You got a, a critically acclaimed author. And you got us. You got, you <laughs> you got, got entertainers us. here. Yeah. Someone had something. Yeah. Okay. Um. Would a girl with an OnlyFans stop you from dating her? Would that stop you from dating a girl that she has an OnlyFans? Seriously or for, for like fun? Seriously. I'm giving a buck. If she got OnlyFans and I know about it, one is what kind of content are you making? That's, that's one thing. If it's not sexual, you're just making money off of like bikini pics, I might see what's up. But long term in marriage... Eh, I don't she know belongs to one. the streets because I, I <laughs> she point, belongs to the streets. Most guys have seen you for the most part, and it's like, yo, like if it's gonna be my girl, I want nobody seeing her. Right. So right. off of that alone, I'm like, yeah, I'll pass. But to smash, have fun. Yeah, we can, we can travel. We can we can do shit. Like yeah, let's do it. But uh, yeah. But why make memories? Hmm? Why make memories if it's not gonna be long term? Oh, because mm-hmm. uh, I, I want to have fun. So, but what if it's yeah. you and your girl that's doing it? Nah, I uh, I wouldn't do it. I mean, I, I've been offered. He's been offered many times. Many times. <laughs> okay, but, but what? What if your girlfriend say, "Oh, record me"? What if she's down with you recording her Ooh. doing it? Oh no, no, I got videos, but I'm not gonna post. Would you be fans. down to do it? No, no, I have videos, but I'm not putting on OnlyFans to sell. So he you doesn't be wanna, down to put it yeah. on OnlyFans. That's huh? basically. I'm asking, would you do it with her on OnlyFans, putting it? No, you know? no, no. Okay. I'll, I'll do it for us, but not, not OnlyFans. Not for OnlyFans. So yeah. just for you and her. Yeah. Okay. Roll. Uh, Stone. She's got an OnlyFans and she's my girl. I'm running it and we're going to make a hell of a lot more money. <laughs> 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 
I, I, like I know this business better than anybody here. Like, right, you know, like, you're a porn if, star. If, if like I was, we created the goddamn thing. Like if, if I got a girl and she's got OnlyFans, like I'm running the damn thing, yeah. and we're making a shitload of money. To you. Right, be my so, manager. My super polar. Uh, okay, so uh, when we were watching that one video, where it was the joke video, or the guys checking out the other guys' girls' OnlyFans, mm -hmm. the the saddest part of that whole thing is the guy who is making up. He's basically what he's doing is gaslighting himself mm -hmm. to believe that he is like this secure guy because his wife is getting run a train on into church or something like that, right? So, but you'll notice that, and the reason it's funny is because you see it happen over and over and over again. So what happens is guys who will get into those situations who are with a girl who is like, if you're if you're with Sterling and he's running your OnlyFans, that's one situation. Another situation is when you've got a beta male guy who doesn't have any options and has to go along with that OnlyFans if he wants to stay with that one girl. Yep. So true. what the guy does is convinces himself like, oh, I'm a secure, I'm secure in my masculinity. So it's okay if she gets a train run on her at the, you know, the Home Depot or wherever it was in the, in the, in the it's video. Right. Okay. And so it's this, it's this constant like rationalization telling yourself, oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's all, it's all going to be fine. Um, from a evolutionary perspective, there is what's called the jealousy response. Okay. So when we talk about like poly relationships we, and, and essentially what is OnlyFans, it's a poly relationship, a loose poly relationship with the whole fucking world mm. okay with with anyone who is a subscriber to your only fans in in essence what you are doing is you are selling your sexuality you're selling at least the possibility or the fantasy of your availability to whoever the whoever the subscriber is right? right and so what happens is you've got a guy who has to if he's going to be involved with you he has to convince himself that in some way he's a better guy for allowing you to do that, for being cool with you doing that. It's another thing if somebody's running it for you. It's another thing if you're the one that's actually banging her on, on OnlyFans. It's another thing if she's doing it on her own and you're just kind of going, you're like, you become the dude, you become the wife is what you become. Yeah. You become this, you become the beta male guy who's there, who's sort of, you know, simping along. You're, you're just, a, you become another simp who happens to be in the same relationship with that person. So there's a difference between the, sort of the active alpha guy who is is involved in a situation like that and the guy who is much more beta about it he's got to convince himself that it's okay for himself to be to be in that's how you get like oh uh yeah go ahead and bang my wife because it's uh i'm i'm secure enough in my masculinity that i let other guys rail my wife that is you gaslighting yourself because what you're doing is you're going against your natural instinct which mm -hmm. is your jealousy instinct and we have jealousy and remember jealousy is, is an emotion, but it's a, also a part of the human revulsion response. Guys don't want to get with women who aren't good bets for their own paternity. So if the baby ain't mine, I, I want to stay away from that. That's why single mothers have a hard time getting guys to commit to them because somebody was already there. Okay. When we're talking about loose girls, right? Just before you were saying, well, don't you think I'm going to be loose? The reason why you, you, women are concerned with the appearance or the possibility of looking like a slut is because sluts are bad bets for men's paternity. So when it comes to like, um, when uh, for, for men to reproduce with women, there's a much higher investment cost for women than it is for men, as you were even you were saying this before. So that's why pornography is such a, a thing for guys, unlimited access to unlimited sexuality. But when they do commit, what they have to do is they have to put off that sexual strategy to focus on your sexual strategy, which is we need to invest in one kid. Well, the trade off for that is I have to give up all these other chicks so that I can just be with you and focus on protecting you, providing for you and being parentally invested in our child. My only caveat for that, my only condition for that is the kid's gotta be my fucking kid. Right. And that's, and that's where the jealousy response comes from. Mate guarding is another, like when, when you have guys like the, the joke here, when, when guys uh, have to convince themselves that it's okay for their girl to do, to do that, they have to counteract with the condition themselves past that mate guarding instinct and it, you know, get off on it or whatever else. But what they're doing is they're trying to forestall or they're trying to like uh, sublimate, let's just say that instinct for jealousy and mate guarding. And there's a reason why human beings have that. 
and you want to know why guys lose their shit and go and kill, you know, kill their wives or kill their, you know, kill the lovers and everything else when there's when there's jealousy or there's like infidelity going on. That's why. Because it's a loss of invest. It's an investment loss on that guy's part right there. And that's why you get like mate guarding and jealous. Damn. Don't the Marco. Very, very good explanation. My uh, I mean, Rolo answered it. I mean, I can use an analogy to kind of describe it, but mm-hmm. I mean, we can, we can move on. So that way we don't know. Uh, who's, who's next? Uh, I'm sure so, they want to hear your opinion, bro. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. The chat wants you, bro. Uh, yeah, we want Frank to hear Castle, your man. Opinion. Come on, bro. We want to hear your opinion. We you want got it. We want to hear your opinion. Myron, are you cool with your girl being on OnlyFans? <laughs> this is what we'll do. We'll go into a dream world. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's end it that way. Yeah, it's fun here. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> I want all the ladies to close their eyes, right? And uh, I know you guys love designer, probably maybe Louis Vuitton, Gucci, whatever it is. So whatever brand you like, whether it's Fendi, Louis, Gucci, whatever. So you go to the Louis Vuitton store, right? And you saved up your money. You're looking at this bag. It's a $10,000 bag. You're like, fuck. I've been waiting to get this thing. Nicki Minaj had it in a magazine. Uh, I'm going to look so lit. You got a trip planned for Turks and Caicos, right? And uh, it's all paid for. You're ready to go. You want to stunt, right? So you go to the store, see the bag, ring it up. $10,000. Oh, no problem. I got the fucking money. No. Pay, right? You buy the bag. Then you get home. You get a text from your friend. Okay. Hey. I got that same bag too. I saw it on your Instagram story. Really? Where'd you get it? Oh, same store on fifth. Really? Okay. How much you get it for? I pay 5,000. What the, you're going to be like, what, what, what the, what the fuck? You pay 5,000 for it? And you're, and you're, and she's going to be like, yeah, here's the receipt. And she shows you the receipt. She paid 5,000 for it. No discount code, no nothing. What are you going to do? Go back to that store. Thank you. So you're going to go back exactly. to the store and you're going to say, Hey, what the fuck? You sold me this for $10,000. She got it for five. And then the receptionist tells you, no, that's your price. And you're like, what? And you look to your left and you see someone else get the bag for $4.99. See someone else get the bag for $10. You see someone else pay $20,000 for it. You see someone else pay $5. See someone get it for damn near free. And you say, what the fuck? The receptionist is like, oh, no, sorry, ma'am. That's your price. What I'm trying to illustrate, guys, is no one wants to pay full price for something that other people got for free and or cheaper. So when you're on OnlyFans and or having indiscriminate sex with a lot of men, the last thing he wants to do is pay full price, which is marry you and take you on because now you've become a liability to him. That's why men have a serious problem with women that have a past. Okay, so uh, I just want to ask this question on my part because I know we're talking about OnlyFans, but what about strippers? Would you take a stripper serious? Here's the thing. Mm. I... Your sexuality, when it's given to others for a cost, whether it's high or low, is never going to compare to me thing. paying the full price of marriage. Okay. Can I say something? You guys are asking relationship advice from majority sex workers. So that makes it kind of like weird. Like, I'm not going to say weird, but what's the word? Uh, Controversial, I'll say. You feel me? Because it's like, you're not asking regular girls. Like, I even tell some of my friends, like, the advice I would give you is not the same advice I would take for myself. I'm giving you advice for your relationship. Personally, you and me are not the same type of girl. I understand the type of life I'm living. I understand what guys want and that majority of guys do not want to date sex workers. So, I mean, I'm okay with that. That's the decision I made. Yeah, but um, no, I understand that. But the thing is, is that no one really tells women these things because it's politically incorrect to say anything that uh, represses a woman's ability to exert her sexuality. Yeah. So men are not going to be honest about things like this. So in other words, most guys don't want to wife up a girl that has a past, just like a woman doesn't want a man that doesn't have a future. Honestly, That's y'all so just want to, you know, get y'all cutty. That's what it is. You know, you don't honestly, guys don't even care how the face look. As long as it has an ass, pussy and titties, <laughs> y'all wouldn't but, fuck. But, yeah, but remember, remember, <laughs> but it's not about fucking yeah. we're talking about marriage you're, long term. Yeah, like, you're like completing what makes a man serious with you. There's sexual attraction. Then there's relationship attraction. So like. If you're attractive and you and you do it for him sexually, well, now you still have another barrier to entry, which is you have to have certain traits if you want to get wifed up. Right. So that's all I'm saying. I'm like, you know, if a girl, you know, because some of you guys are young and attractive young ladies. Mm-hmm. All I'm saying is that OnlyFans can hurt you in the future with poten- finding a potential mate as okay. far as like a long term husband or whatever it is, because the honest God, honest truth is most guys are going to have a problem with it. And here's the other thing. I know. I know. Not me, man. Not me. Anyone here that's a dancer or been on OnlyFans for a while and you dated a guy while you're on there, 
What's the conversation that happens after six months of being on? Yo, You're I need you to get out that hoe. shit. No, well, okay, well, right. maybe that one. But I was gonna I say, say they, they'll, they'll typically tell you if they're not involved in your business to any degree or they're not profiting. Nine out of ten times, they're gonna tell you, "I want you to quit." Yep. I don't like it that you're doing this. So, yeah. I it's, just feel it's like, the truth, you know. I mean, if you love a person, you you love them for who they are. I mean, you gotta accept them for their flaws and all. I mean, if you already knew they were doing OnlyFans, this and that fucking and sucking and you started dating them when they were doing it then you have to accept that shit it is what it is i disagree you have to, i respectfully I disagree, disagree. why do you disagree because once again what once you're dealing with that man why are you gonna if you buy a car right mm -hmm. would you feel okay if you kept the for sale sign on the car mm. no i mean i didn't get to finish but you're right so I mean, the going. thing the thing is this. The thing is this, ladies. I know it, it's, it sucks because you're hearing it from like an objectifying standpoint, but mm -hmm. that's how men look at women. We look at right. you guys as a resource that we invest money and time into. Yeah. So we don't want to share said resource with other men. Right. Sex is very difficult for men to come by. Only it 10 is. to 20 percent of guys are banging like 80, 90 percent of the girls. However, for you guys, sex is easy. So if you guys, yeah. oh, it's not that big a deal for me to show my ass. It's not that big a deal. No. It is because once a man gets you as his girl, he does not want to pay full price. For something that other guys have seen for free or damn near four ninety nine on a subscription. Hold on, real quick. I don't know. I kind of feel like it's easier for guys because honestly, you guys, y'all literally will literally pay for sex if it if her ass looks really nice. Hold on, nice, again, again, you're conflating sexual attraction with, with relationship attraction yeah. or pain. Right. There's for girls it. that are bad that you're like, damn, she's hot. Mm -hmm. I have sex with her, but you're not gonna commit to her. Right. There's a big you're difference. You're right. You're so right. Yo, y'all look at even with girls that have their body done and stuff. You guys look at okay. her, yeah, but like, yeah, she's nice and shit. But, but that's just not something you want to go home to. And why, here's here's the painful you know truth. Saying? So it is what it is. The more liberated you are, and the more you sexualize yourself, the more you're going to liberate yourself from a real relationship and or marriage of a man of serious consequence that can love and admire you. I was about to say right. it's like the guys that are going to be okay with you doing what you're doing later on down the road when you get. I'm, Everybody here is oh, you're 26 is a, is a, or 28 is old. Later on down the road, when you're looking for a guy who wants who's who's OK with that, who still wants to you know give you some kind of long term security, your options amongst men. Like we were just saying, you wanted to have the guy who's the exciting guy and the nice guy who's stable, but he's also fun to hang out with. Right. Um, He's the good guy. He's he's the best of both worlds. He's the alpha guy, but he's, he's sensitive and he's nice enough. He's dependable. He's not going to cheat on me like that. That kind of mythological balance there. Mm -hmm. You're looking for that guy right there. When you get to a point where you've made like the last, you know, five, eight years of OnlyFans, when you get to that point where you're looking for that guy, those guys, if they existed are not going to be interested in you at that particular time, because what happens is men mature much slower than women do. So the things that when a guy becomes, a, he, he reaches his peak sexual market years, when he gets to the point where he has the most of what makes a man attractive, his looks, his status, his money, his career, his ambitions, he's, he's made something of himself because men must become, and women just are. When that guy gets to that point, is that guy going to be interested in a girl who has been doing OnlyFans for the last five, six, eight years? Mm -hmm. Or is he going to be interested in a, a, a fresh face, right? Is he going to be interested in somebody who hasn't done that, who ha hasn't been run through at you know, Home Depot on OnlyFans or whatever? And here's the thing. You can do an OnlyFans and not be fucking. Yeah. That, that's, here's the other yeah. thing. Let me make yeah. that very yeah, clear. Yeah. You, you can be doing an OnlyFans and not having sex or whatever. This part. But... <laughs> can't judge a book by its cover the stigma is yes. there though but yes. the stigma is there, there and, and we can say we don't judge a book by its cover your, your digital but let's be honest, footprint is there hold on i love yeah. a woman say that I, let's not judge a book by its cover let's go through dream world one more time <laughs> <laughs> we're at a club right let's say i'm your type at this point i've probably probably triggered each and every single one of you but it's fine right i come up to you at, or sorry no i'm not your type actually I'm walking up to you. I'm walking up. I'm going to talk to you. But I got jean shorts, black Air Force Ones, and a baggy white tee. And I come up to you. I'm like, hey, what's up? What's your name? What are you going to think in your mind? The same face I got. Uh-oh, retard alert. Man. Right? He's so you're right. going to be like, what the fuck sounds off with this? But yeah. what you yeah, don't but, know yeah. is I got a Lamborghini parked outside, a million dollars in the bank, and I own three mansions. Right. But what did you do? You judge me a book by its, by cover. its cover. And you say, right. hell nah, something wrong with this motherfucker. You ain't going to give me the time of day. Mm -hmm. Why is it okay when women judge a book by its cover, but when a man judges a book by its cover, it's small dick energy, insecure, whatever. 
It's just that women like to reserve the ability to judge a book by its cover because you guys don't want to be judged. But real talk, women are the most judgmental of them all. We are. So all I'm simply saying is this. As Dave Chappelle famously once said, if you wear a hooker's uniform, they're going to assume you're a hooker. Right. Whether or not you actually do the hooking. Yeah, real quick, Chris. What's up? Would you date you got the OnlyFans seriously or not? I mean, to be honest, not really. Because, um, I mean, I would entertain her, <laughs> more or less. But end of the day, man, if she's showing her ass in front of uh, lots of people, and it's like, like Myron said, if you park a Lamborghini in the hood, and, she has, and uh, guys see that, and they break in, what happens? Like, she's more inclined to uh, fuck it up and uh, do what she got to do. Like, I, I would entertain her. I would hang out with her. But she's not going to get your last name. But, yeah, exactly. But it's like, yo, it's like you're paying for insurance. <laughs> and then the fucking house is like fucking uh, full of holes and shit like that. You know, that's how I see it. Okay. So, all right. Next. Uh, next. Uh, Super chat I think we course. killed that one to death there. Yeah, yeah. We can, uh, we can. But, um, uh, okay. Um, hey, ladies, if any, if any disagreements, comments, questions, whatever it is next. Uh, Benton, if, Martin. What if you fall in love with her? What okay, good. Uh, that's a, that's a good. That's it. a good point. Uh, let me just read this, and then we'll 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 talk about that. Vincent Martin, fifty dollars. Hey, fresh. A while ago, I sent you a pic of a chart that illustrates the male sexual strategy in comparison to the female sexual mating strategy. Now would be a good time to show the girls and Rolo as well. I can resend DM. It'll help ladies understand. Nigga, if I read all my DMs, I'd be blind. <laughs> I'd be blind, nigga. Uh, uh, Husin Ba, uh, fifty dollars. I wouldn't say it's impossible. Thank you for the don donation, man. It's, I think we got this. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's impossible if they end up with a religious person. He might be rich and exciting at the time. But would not get cheat, would not get cheat, would not cheat. Oh, on his woman because of his religious morals. We're out here, but I do agree we're extremely rare. Yeah, I mean, uh, from home. your name, you might be in the Middle East, my friend. Uh, Zentians, <laughs> uh, fifty dollars. Um, gents, notice how the women said that they want a good average guy, but what they omitted was the fact that. Nope, read that one already, Chris. Uh, Marge, uh, margin Riv. This is for the hot, <laughs> the hat budget. I know y'all go through a lot of caps. Thank you so much. And then uh, Little Caesars. Uh, little Caesar, little Cos oh, Cos Cos Cruz. Sorry, but For ladies, would it be a turn off, or turn on, or turn off to see your new guy you're dating in an older OnlyFans video with him being in a video of ex girlfriend? Yeah. Oh wow. Oh. Would that be a turn off for you? Yes. Because yes. anybody you've been watch. with, yeah, I'll be mad. I'll mm. be a little jealous too. Because... So basically, the guy, I don't see that. the guy you're dating now, right, is in an old OnlyFans video with his ex girlfriend. <laughs> would that be okay for you? <laughs> is she Honestly, making money off of it, or is he? <laughs> yeah. I mean, if it's old, I'll someone. charge it to the game, but at the same time, I'll be mad okay. because you know. No, I need to know who's making the money. What about you? Well, honestly, I wouldn't be comfortable with that because also I don't have my body like that on the internet. So, because that's my own thing, everybody can do what they want, but I don't. So, I don't want my partner to either. In that sense, even if it's old, I don't want to be with someone that already has their body blasted everywhere. And also, I feel like it's sad because. In this culture, I noticed a lot of young women go into OnlyFans, and a lot of them aren't even comfortable with it. But media and society is like, well, you could make money, you know, it's so easy. I'm a guy, I can't do it, but you're a girl, you can. And then I also notice a lot of these young girls get roped in, even when they don't want to. Well, hold on. If he's in the video, you can't really see him, though. You see most of the girl. <laughs> I still, okay. personally. What about you? Um... I would probably feel some type of way, but it wouldn't like have to do with the relationship because we're not together. This is an old video. So um, I don't know. So the guy you're dating, if you saw old video with his ex, OnlyFans, you'd be cool with it. Yeah, because they're not together anymore. He's not still fucking her. Like Okay. Yeah. I agree with you. I it would be a huge turnoff. Like I think if you're making videos like that, you could keep it private. Like if I'm mm -hmm. not putting videos like that out on the internet then I would hold them to the same standard. You know what I mean? So But no. what if what if you love them though? Um, I don't know. It would be a very serious conversation. I it'd be kind of hard, honestly. Okay. Who's making the money? <laughs> okay. <All right. laughs> is it him or is it her? Because if it's her, I'm having a problem. Okay. That's it. That's the only reason why I'll be mad. Other than that, that's okay. his business. I got I got a question that I gotta ask the ladies after this because this is an interesting topic. Okay. I think what about you? You, you see? Oh. Um, I think that I would be mad. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Embarrassing for me. Okay. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't watch, though. <laughs> okay. Like, I, <laughs> I got a question for all the ladies real fast. So uh, let's go into Dream World one more time, okay?
I know I'm not a lot of your types at this point, but bear with me, okay? Pretend we've been dating for five years, okay? Serious relationship. I take you, uh, I, I take you to our destination that we've been planning forever, Tulum, right? We, we talked about it when we first met that we're gonna go to Tulum, Barbados, or, <laughs> for our for our for our uh, our five year anniversary. So you know, actually, no, let's take it a step further. We're gonna get married. We're engaged, mm. right? Day before the wedding, you know, we're getting ready for the festivities. Gonna break off with our friends and families, whatever, because they separate for the day of the wedding. Uh, and we spend our last night together, right? So I leave my phone on the dresser, and you open it up, and you see a uh, Pornhub. You're like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Do, 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 do. And then you guys see, right? Like, literally, you just see that Pornhub, and you're like, <laughs> I got you, Chris. So you look in it, and you see that I have multiple videos where I'm having sex with different women. As a matter of fact, I have one video where I'm having sex with four women at the same time, Right. Uh, obviously this was prior to our relationship, but you found it like, what the fuck? And you didn't know this before. Like, you knew maybe I got around, but you didn't know like the extent. Now you're seeing it in 4k. Okay. My question is this, are you calling off the wedding the next day? Mm -hmm. Um, no, because everyone has a history. I would have to think about that. <laughs> okay. So you, really hard. you would think about it five because years down how, the drain. How can you keep that from someone? Five years later, here's the thing. I mean, you're sexual. You don't. You keep it from. You me. knew I got around, but you didn't know the details. Yeah, but that doing porn is actually a big deal. Okay, so you you, you think about it. Yeah. Okay. Would you call Honestly, off the wedding? Yes I or no? I wouldn't call off the wedding. Okay. I'll probably be like. Feel some type of way. Where she at? Call her up. Okay. <laughs> Call off the wedding? I wouldn't call off the wedding, but you'll have a broken phone. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Would you call off the wedding? Probably because they're like omitting the truth. And like if they didn't tell you that, there's so many other things that they could not be telling you as well. Okay. So you would cut off the wedding five years down the drain, gone, even though it was prior to our At relationship. least postpone. Okay. <laughs> For sure. I wouldn't cut off the wedding because that was your personal business before we even knew each other. So how could I get mad at you? Okay. That sounds so crazy. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. What about if it's during and you just didn't know about it? Then that's it. cheating and that's yeah. different. Okay. I think I, I don't think I'd go through. I wouldn't say necessarily cancel, but that's a, like she said, that's a big secret. If I don't know that and we're together five mm -hmm. years, it's going to make me question, okay, what else don't I know mm -hmm. about you? Remember, this is prior to our relationship and you already knew I got around. But I didn't know that it was on the internet. To that extent. And, to okay. that extent, okay. yeah. Fair enough. Okay, now let's switch it around. Guys in the room, all right? Day before the wedding, you see your girl get a train ran on her prior to your relationship. Bruh. Choo -choo. Everyone in here is calling off that fucking wedding, right? Choo-choo. Oh, hell yeah. Motherfucker. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. So, Next. wait, wait, wait. Thanks. Hold up. Ladies, Thanks. ladies, Thanks. ladies. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The whole point of this Thanks. is this. Because I love it when women say this. <laughs> Well, I don't want a guy that's promiscuous, blah, blah, blah. No, a man that is promiscuous is inherently sexy to some degree, okay? But a woman that's promiscuous is not. Every single guy is going to call off that wedding versus a bunch of you guys fought twice about it, and you're like, you know what? That's not really a deal breaker, you know? It, he's a guy. Guys do what guys are going to do. So we don't play by the same set of rules. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I if, it happened, have a if it happened phone. before <laughs> us, like, what can we do? Like, it happened before us. So it's when like, it when it comes to, are you to... gonna hold it against your man, or are you but gonna just tell no? You but I'm saying, so but long. yeah, he didn't tell you. But what I'm trying to say though is that it's far more egregious when it's done on the female side. The right. man yeah. is canceling the wedding. Right. You're not. Women are more likely to forgive a guy right. of sexual infidelity than they are to give forgive him of emotional. In infidelity because it is a loss of investment in that guy mm. so for like most uh, pretty much everybody here understands like you know god you know, we were just saying a minute ago you know guys just want to have sex with a snake right or whatever <laughs> whatever the hell you, you said right? yeah exactly yeah. men men's sexual strategy our innate <laughs> sexual strategy is unlimited access to unlimited sexuality and if you don't believe me all you got to do is go look at Pornhub, right? right all you've got to go that's that's what porn is unlimited mm -hmm. access to unlimited sexuality in the virtual sense okay so women are far more likely to forgive sexual infidelity, but then far less likely to like the first thing is, uh, are you in love with her? You know, that kind of stuff. So there's that that fear of loss of investment in that one guy, particularly if that guy is a high value guy. Women want guys who other men want to be and other women want to fuck. 
Okay. Women are far more likely to share an alpha male than be saddled with a faithful loser. We went around the table here just a minute ago <laughs> and established that point in spades, except for her who wants to have the optimal. Well, point, she said she would think I about get, it twice, which I understand, <laughs> which I, I, I understand the desire for it. Yes. Yeah. Um, secondly, men are far less likely to forgive sexual infidelity for a woman. And the reason for that is because our reproductive strategy is invested in if we're going to invest in a woman what is what what's happening is what's called the sunk cost fallacy so if i am uh investing all of my time and putting all my eggs in one basket reproductively with you and you're out you know screwing around or advertising your ass on only fans or you're an instagram you know, like oh take my picture on instagram you know you're advertising yourself that is a loss of investment because the time i spend investing in you and I don't know that the kid is going to be mine. That's time I could have spent banging a lot of chicks, right? Because <laughs> and 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 spreading my seed. Because in, reproductively, I have a much lower investment cost than women do. Because in one ejaculate, I can potentially you know reproduce with thousands of women if I wanted to do that. Sperm so cheap eggs are expensive. Yeah, ex are expensive. So that and the, so how does that relate to jealousy? How does that relate to infidelity? Women are far less likely to forgive a guy who says, "Well, I'm really in love with her." I have an emotional. I had an emotional infidelity. You know, I was emotionally attached to this chick. Even if they didn't have sex, the guy still is like interested in that woman more so because he's investing in her. For for men, it's if the if somebody else is tapping that ass, I'm, yeah, I'm they're out. gonna be out. Yeah. Out. Okay. Um. Now next, uh, super chats. Oh, more hard. came in. Okay. Uh, the paranormal soldier, super cap. Uh, ladies, get your questions or or comments or disagreements ready. <laughs> except for you, who uh who are wait, super cap. Except for you, for who you are. Okay. The whole table just turned down the nice average guy. <laughs> guys, for being who he is. You that. chicks are fake. Okay. Thanks, paranormal soldier. Anything else? No, they're very real. Uh, bends in mind. No, no. Nope, read that one. No, super chat. We didn't read yet. Yeah, super chat. Most women would not take serious or wife a uh, or wife a woman with BBL and surgeries. We'll have fun with her, but we'll wife the no makeup natural girl. That is bullshit. Do the fellows on the panel mm -hmm. hold that position? Disagree? Go ahead. I don't see so many of my friends with their little BBLs and stuff. The moment they got their BBL, they found a husband. Right. Yeah. It's like they forgot they was a hoe. I'm being so serious. Like your wholeness just gets renewed. Get a BBL. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, especially in Miami, like you'll get you can even tighten your quick pussy because I, I, it's funny because before <laughs> I'm serious, you had a certain amount of guys hitting you up, but now with the BBL and you know the tit, tit job, whatever, you're getting way more action. And guys will be, you know what? I want her because she's like my ideal girl. It's an investment. Yeah, but, you're, you're getting plastic surgery, getting a boob job, whatever, yeah. getting your collagen, whatever. That is an investment in your reproductive future. Yeah. Am I look good, now, but, uh, now, now, I prefer normal. I have natural. no problem Natural's with fake better. tits. Thank you very much. Yeah. Please keep getting them. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but he, he's saying, would you wife though? Would you wife sure. up that woman? Sure. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, Leo, uh, I'm 23. Uh, I'm a 23 year old male. I want to achieve financial su success. I want. <laughs> To work my ass off for the next seven years to be financially success successful, but I am afraid that by 30 I'm going to be to too old uh, to get as much girls as I can right now. Being 23, am I tripping? Yeah, you're tripping, bro. Yeah, right. yeah, get as Relax. much ass as you can. Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Those are gonna be tough for him at 23 yeah. unless he has money, right? Yes, I'd value. Yeah. Men, men I mean, are virtually. Of, I'm gonna be real with you. There's a lot of broke men that get pussy right. on the daily. So you, you know it's all about your game player. And it ain't looks. it ain't even <laughs> it ain't even about the money sometimes. And Nothing I'm just being honest, it. your charm, how you are, if you funny as hell and you ugly, you might get some pussy. Right? It's not from me, but I'm just saying from <laughs> some bitch. No, 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 I, that's you know, true. You know what's very funny, man? It's yeah. it's very interesting to me how women like overestimate uh how hard easy it is. it is, you know, or underestimate how hard it is to get women. Yeah. Right? You know, because like man <laughs> do you guys know that like only 10 to 20 percent of dudes are smashing like 90 percent of the girls i know but you know it's crazy right now if you're ugly and you have money they're gonna smash you Fresh. that's true <laughs> if you're ugly you know what you know i'm not gonna lie i'm not trying to be in a race car but right Fresh. now the hate the ugly haitians are winning if you're an ugly haitian you Fresh. got bread a bad bitch is gonna get you but you gotta remember <laughs> Most guys aren't rich. I know the average I'm guy. That like... what I'm saying is that like like unless you're an exceptional exceptional male to some degree, whether you're extremely good looking, you have money, or a combination thereof, yeah. it's going to be very difficult for you. Well, I'm yeah. just going to say it like this: these scammers are winning. Yeah, look at if that's what I said. The last you're a scammer. Oh. If you're ugly, you're a scammer. You know. 
call that. You know you're winning. I ain't gonna lie. In Miami, and these she's right though. Are getting yo, these bitches, but it doesn't but change. It. it doesn't change it. There's there's still a small percentage yeah. of them. Yeah, the but they don't care. They don't care. But, but <laughs> I place, just I'm you're, like, you're missing honestly, the point. Yeah, that it's not yeah, easy to get girls. Yeah. From experience, tell you. Right. that's yeah. all. I don't see too many ugly guys get pussy. I don't right. see all type of niggas get Fresh. pussy. No, no, no. And most but of them are Haitian. I just, here's the problem, though, right? <laughs> well, I don't know. Ladies, from that ladies, let, okay. let, ladies, let Fresh speak. Here's the problem, right? <laughs> you can say that yes, a lot of guys that are ugly that have game get girls. But the problem is, can they retain them long enough to keep them? No, personally, that's the problem. So we're saying on the panel, look, they might get girls here and there. But the reality is, as a man, you want to level up to a certain level. So, you know what? When you get these girls, you got to retain them and actually, you know what I'm saying, provide, be a provider. So, yes, some guys can get girls, but game and, and ballots, whatever. The point is, though, you don't want to be that guy because then, what do you, you know, what, what's it for? You right. get a chick, you smash her. What's next? Because mm -hmm. when the money you're, runs you're out, still a bum. You're still they a bum. don't want you no more. You're ugly. No, no, I'll say this, though. Good dick game can take you far, but for right. how long? I mean, simply put, man, and this isn't to use you guys as an example, but guys, this is a perfect example. No offense to you guys. Women really don't give a fuck about your struggles, guys. Like, the male struggle, no one cares. Right. They don't even know that yeah. most dudes aren't smashing. Mula. Like, they only see a small percentage of guys, you know, women just wait at the finish line and fuck the winners, bro. It is what it is. It, yeah, what you laughing? That's how it goes, man. Because it's true. Nobody cares. Bro, no, I don't see the baddest bitches come in the club and the, the niggas look like frogs. You be like, what the fuck? <laughs> and they spending thousands of fucking but dollars. But they say you gotta like, be real. Oh. Again, like, again, again, again. You keep crazy, referring right? to exceptions Mom. to the rule because they have money. The point I'm trying to make is this. Men don't get sexual access unless they're exceptional in something. Whether they have money, status, extremely good looks or good game or a combination of the four, yeah. they have to excel in something. Whereas a woman can be completely fucking average, not that attractive, bring nothing to the table and get more options than a guy that brings all four things to the table. That's all I'm saying. Men struggle to get sex and I'm not sitting there, oh, feel bad for me, blah, blah, blah. No. no, it's just that it's very interesting to see how unaware and ignorant women are of the male struggle with sex because they look at it through their lens. It's easy for me to get laid. It should be easy for you to get laid. No, it's not. <laughs> Listen, on. one thing about it, she's bringing something to the table. Sure. It might not be something that what you it? might not be known of. What's she bringing? But one thing about it, like, What's guys, okay, say if they're dating a girl, she's bad as fuck and they cheat on her. Like, like he cheat on her with, like, a, you know, a, a, a normal, like, kind of, she's, she's, like, regular, but she's kind of, like, ugly a little bit. That's because that bitch is doing whatever the fuck he tell her to do versus as his girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Like, if a girl's pretty or whatever, she, we have standards. You You're know missing the point. All right. For a man to have sex with a woman, simply for sex, she doesn't have bring much to the table, but it doesn't work the other way around. Okay. For a man to have sex with a woman and get sexual access to her, he has to bring something to the table. I mean, that's not always because I have friends that their guys didn't bring shit to the table and they still did what the fuck they did. They wanted to do. He has game. Yeah. <laughs> not even like has, something. Not even he has game. It was just like that's just because they love that person. You know what I'm saying? They just stick with that person through thick and thin. They don't give a fuck what it is. You have girls that's like that. Okay. It's not that's always game. girls that care about your money and shit. It's this girl. We it's girls out here that really respect a guy. You know, for just being their self and just loving them for them and who they are. That's you know game. What I'm so there you go. That's yeah. game. Bryce, I, 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 say something, I don't think you know? you're listening. <laughs> she's not. Yeah, know, she's not. She's not, not listening. Right, she's talking, so, not, not listening. Like yeah. what you're saying, some girls want love, some girls want money. And here's some advice to guys. Maybe you're aiming for girls that you're not in the same like caliber as, and you. I'm not gonna say lower your standards, or expectations, because that sounds fucked up, but like. Try everybody. You get what I'm saying? Every girl you see, talk to them because it's good advice. That's good advice. actually Everybody's good advice. Not good, advice. Good, advice. Yes. good advice. That's actually what we tell guys all the time that yeah. it's a numbers game numbers with women. Game. You have to source everywhere. Yeah, because girls are gonna reject you for some of the most bullshit reasons. So you can't like take one interaction seriously. And look, Chris, Chris, she be having a bad day. Hold yeah. on, hold on. It don't matter. Get the fuck away from me. Yeah, yeah. Chris, right? Yeah. Chris, Chris, Chris said I was ugly, right? Mm -hmm. But Chris, you are. Nobody wants your. <laughs> nobody wants your hairline, bro. No cap. Yo, no, no, it's on the panel, hair. right? I they did. said girls will take an I ugly did. nigga that got money. But Chris, your hairline nigga, they ain't taking you nowhere. No. I'll wear about damn. his hairline hey. if he give me some money. He'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we can put a little hair in the front. All right, chill out, chill out, chill out.
Did it, okay, buy one BBL, get one free, 50 bucks. Uh, just like how getting new rims and paint on a beat-up 99 Honda, getting a BBL gives a new lease on uh, life for a rundown 92 thought with high mileage. Holy shit. Holy smoke. I think that's the insult your friends that you were talking about before. Wait, run that back? What? Sorry. Is it, yeah. I was here, and then you told me. I told yeah, that's fine. D disregard. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, Jabrizi Magic. Uh, most three or fours don't want a relationship. They want a sucker. They want to do what they want while condemning you if you did the same as they did. Oh, shit. Oh, shoot. Damn. Uh, Leo. Wow. Uh, uh, Y'all need to add the snippet. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, Nobunaga Black. This girl said she is pretty and has standards, but again, she spreads her cheeks on the internet for two ninety nine a month. LMAO. <laughs> you got to... Who, 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 who's who's he talking about? Two ninety nine. Which one? Who's, who's two ninety nine? Yeah. Yeah, we got a couple girls on the panel. You got to be more descriptive, Miss uh, Mister Noble right. Naga Black. Uh, y'all need to add the snippet when the girl next to Aussie porn star said on the daily to the soundboard. Hilarious. Uh, okay, who is next? Oh, uh, sorry. Go ahead. Anybody oh. next? Any question? Comment? Anything? Uh, Zentians. Oh. Miss Nurse, as a healthcare provider myself, <laughs> your profession prides themselves on integrity. Why should your patients and men trust you when you don't even value yourself as you sell your body on the internet for pennies? <laughs> oh shit. You got a rebuttal for that? You see? Well, first of all, I don't sell my body on the internet for pennies. For, second of all, I'm sure you haven't even seen what's on my OnlyFans because you're making that comment. Mm. And third of all, you don't know what I do as a nurse. I might have my own business so I can do whatever I want. Oh, I shit. Know. All right. There you go. Uh, okay. Uh, DM right. Myron, shorty ain't here a word you said, SMH. You know, he was talking about before. <laughs> like... <laughs> Uh, I was saying he's got to bring one of the four to the table, but they still love him. Well, he has a game, but they love him. Uh, no, no days, days left. left. Besides love, what can a female do for you that you can't pay for? Serious. Oh, Ooh. Uh, okay. What these can dudes I do for you that you can't pay for? Right. Well, a man can protect you from danger. He okay. can provide we you can a home. We can protect ourselves from danger. Right? We can get has money. knives. We can get taser. We can get so, maids. Three niggas pull up. Three black. Buff niggas pull up. Okay, what if we went to a karate school? What if we went to a karate school? I'll try. Two niggas pull up. I'll try. And we just knock all their ass down. They gonna take your ass down. Come on now. I'm going down to today's the day. I ain't going to lie. I want to say this. I'm small. So I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I'm going to take your ass down. Come on now. I'm going down. I ain't going to lie. I'm small. So I know what I'm doing. 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 Does every lady at the table realize that a, like a ten year old boy will fuck you up? No, yeah, no, it's true. Not like me. that ass. I honestly, because yeah, I'm little, so it don't take. Listen, that I don't fight a nigga that I was six six that knocked my tooth out and I was still standing, so I'm good. But you lost though. Like, <laughs> no, like, no, no like, I didn't lose like, because we both ended up in bad situations. Because he's the one that's in jail still, so I'm I didn't lose. But so you needed some. Well, no, he's no. in jail. You needed other men to come. I in imagine if he wasn't in jail, he he kept, and then he kept going. I this mean, is... we was going for a long time. Somebody called the cops on us. We ain't called the cops. Okay, Somebody but you were, cops. <laughs> you were saved by the state. Other men coming in to rescue you from a man that could have easily killed you. Uh, ladies, ladies, lady. like, let's not live in a, in a Disney fairy tale. <laughs> is men, that a Disney fairy tale? No, d men are physically superior to women. They're like, you take Serena Williams. She lost to a dude that was hungover, ranked two hundredth in the world as as a male tennis player. High school boys beat WNBA players. High school boys beat the the you know female um national soccer team. It is what it is. I'm not saying this to say we're better than you guys. Just that when it comes to physical combat, y'all are dying. Like it's only I mean, in modern day conventions where not we have security, time. police, and everything else like that that women can talk the way they do and act the way they do with impunity. But the reality is, if there was consequences to running your mouth or talking shit, or if there weren't like cer certain conventions, right, to protect women, they would act that way. That dumb chick that was talking that shit. You really think she would act like that if she was a dude? Nope. No, no, because I, men know there's an unwritten rule. There's physical consequence and or you can get fucked up or die if you act incorrect with a man. But women know, well, if he hits me, he'll go to jail and there's all these people that will protect me. That's why women act out of pocket. Mm -hmm. But if they knew that they could get punched in the face, they wouldn't act the way they do. I'm not inciting violence on women. I'm, women, I'm just simply saying y'all are almost delusional of the reality of how men can really destroy you physically. And look, right. you I mean, I could completely agree with that, especially being from an abusive situation before because yeah. I was pregnant with that person. So imagine pregnant and off. I was with the abuse. So not coming out of the fairy tale. It's just like, I'm going to put it in this perspective. A person, you could tolerate so much disrespect from a person and like towards like a male to like a woman, like especially if he's like an alpha male, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes a lot of alpha males bring women down and I, that's, I've lived through it. So 
it gets to a point that sometimes I'm going to talk my shit back because I'm not going to sit here and let you disrespect me. You understand what I'm saying? And it has to get physical. We're going to get physical. I'm not going to. It's, it's not the fact because I'm a woman and I'm weak and you're stronger. No, you're disrespecting me. It's just that's just how I feel towards certain situations with men when I get in that co- altercation. I feel the same way. Well, I mean, uh... I'm just saying it's not no fairy tale, but it's just more or less like some men really get disrespectful and no, they, they need don't. to get popped in their shit. And then if you pop you back, back, we just gonna be popping no, off. No, no, no. Back you might not get you might, yeah. that's what I've I'm been to say. there and I've gotten back No, no, no. <laughs> like, the wrong guy, the wrong guy will wrong fucking guy. kill you. Yeah. Like, like, you, but you, that's why I'm peaceful you now. Can, you can act, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like There's no argument here, man. Like, you're gonna take an L if you fight a man. I fought plenty of different men, like, over time in my life. And to be honest, like, like it ended with me trying to stab them or something of that sort. Because I mean, same way you could kill me, I could kill you. Anything right. in here, I could pick you up, and pick it up, and kill you with it. A like, gun go bang but bang. That's how I personally think, and I understand every female's not like that. You get what I'm saying? But so listen, don't men, take the woman huh, listen, men don't really want to hurt girls. They just want to uh, say them off. So you girls really want to hurt men. So. Let's not cap here. If a man really want to fuck you up, you will, wouldn't be here right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 I don't want to fuck you in a life-threatening situation. Okay. So, need, like, put your balls off. Like, all these situations right. where you're talking <laughs> about, <laughs> all these situations where you're talking about, like I could fuck him up, is when you're using like a weapon. Right. A man yeah. can kill you with his bare ass hands. A man, mean, a man doesn't need anything to kill you. Bigger. I feel like he's just bigger and stronger. Like, but you couldn't believe that we're even hold on. It's like right now. Hold on. Probably had a point. Fucking clown world. Once, once, once again. Are really trying to argue that they can fight a man. So here's the thing. Okay, so every every woman is between 20 and 28 years old here. Are you guys ready to sign up for selective services? Oh, what is that? Ooh. That's you're ready to oh. sign up for the draft because you better Stupid. get your ass ready because that's what they just passed. Yeah. You want to be equal? You, yes. Here you go. Yeah. Equal. You, you, you want to fight men? Women will have you to fight men now. Have have to, Army. Have to, have go right ahead. I was actually going to go to go the, the Marines. Right. Right. I was Here's actually going to go. I how was many? Saying. How many women at this table are going to sign up? Well, actually, well, I mean, like I'm gonna raise your hand. Raise your hand, ladies. High and proud. I raise your hands. High and proud. Don't half-ass it. All right. Raise your hand. Okay. No. Okay. At this point, I'm about to sign up. Okay. How many? How many? Three? No. No. The one, two, three, and a half. No, don't put on three caps. Fresh. 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 Right, give me one. Yeah. I believe her. Good. There is something I would like to say. Good. 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 So I wanted to go into the, the Air Force, cap is on. but I was born with a genetic disorder and I physically do not qualify, but that's not my fault. And I also broke my back in a car accident and I have a lot of physical mobilities to where I can't. My father was born on, the, on an Air Force base. My grandfather was a general. I wanted to my whole life, but I didn't qualify. All right, no, but remember, no, ladies, because, this this does not change true. the fact. This does no, not change the fact that you're not physically fact. equipped to and fight I, men. And I'm yeah. not yeah. saying that I am. Okay, you're right. I'm not physically equipped to fight a man. Yeah. But I'm saying don't no. say that. I am. Oh, are you willing to? Because I was willing to, but I don't qualify. If, no, if I was trained ass. properly, so that's right. Not, that's not Here's the problem, though, right? You might have hurt your back. You might have disability. But they don't care about that shit. Yeah, no. Matter of fact, is you can't make the cut. So I'm beating ass. I'm standby. I'm standby. I'm standby. <laughs> look, it's a, it's unfortunate. You know what I'm saying, but yeah. like in reality, life is unfair. So I'm gonna say this, right? It's not that I'm saying I would have been able to if I didn't have it, but I'm saying don't say oh, are you are you willing to go and do that because I was willing. To you do see, that. that's a burden that men have had to face and, for a hundred plus years. And I give years. respect to that because I, I understand. You that. have the privilege of choosing. Yeah, men don't. Yeah, yeah. I understand. And so the well. thing is, is like women have a lot of they. Oh well, I, you, I, we we're in a society right now where we have this sort of what's called the warrior princess mm-hmm. dynamic. It's like you watch any Zena. Disney Pixar, you watch Mulan, and suddenly you can use a, a lightsaber. <laughs> I don't know what the hell, right? Okay, so this idea that I have been fed this this you know gi jane ideal that this is what i can do until you get into that physical alteration well of course statistics yeah and statistically you're going down okay i mean like really statistically you're going down and so the reason why i brought that up is because we think that 
you know, as a society, we've always said, you know, women should should be exempt from war, going to war and getting killed and whatever, of course. But then when we say, OK, suddenly we're all equal, right? We're, we're uh, a woman is just as equal to a man until we get to the point where we have to actually put up or shut up when it comes to that kind of stuff. And honestly, I, I don't I don't think that women should be drafted. Honestly, I don't think so. I think it's it's not it's not a it's a reality of the world that is not fit for women. Is only fit for men. Yep. And that's why when they are lowering standards in in com, you know, for combat training, for even even if you want to join, they're still going to yeah. lower standards for you. The the reality, the world it doesn't lower its standards. It kills you. You of just course. die. Mm-hmm. And so when we're when we're looking at these fantasies and we're brought up bringing up little girls to think that oh you can do it, you can be an astronaut, you can go and kick guys' ass, you know, that are like three times your size because you're Black Widow, right? And you know your karate moves. <laughs> No, you're probably going to go down. Another thing is, statistically <laughs> speaking, what what, we, what do we say? Let like, us show you. Forty percent of of American women are obese. Yeah, forty percent. Yeah, right. Now. That that's oh, oh yeah, yes. like like chronically fat, like 20, 30 pounds over. So, so those are that's the reality. So the reason why I brought up the fact that you know uh, you know drafting women or or at least making women sign up for selective services because what that is is that's the potential for you actually having to go fight and die in war. Man, I, I call me sexist. I don't give a fuck. Women should not be in combat whatsoever. They, they're, they're inferior in a lot of the things that are important in combat. Yeah. Yes, it's true. You guys are physically inferior. Uh, when it comes to making quick decision making, you can look at video game. Look, look at professional video game players. Look at Formula One drivers. Chess players has nothing to do with physicality, right? It's about logically based making quick decisions on a whim. Women are inferior. I don't see no champion Formula One drivers that are women. I don't see no champion chess players that are women. Has nothing to do with physicality. Y'all are just not equipped to, to battle, man. If you throw uh, like a pen at a girl, emotions uh, like this, like, oh shit! It's, gonna it's hit not her in the face. that a girl can't do it's it. It's gonna though. hit her in the face. Like she's not gonna a have the same. Can, but she's not gonna have the same coordination and athleticism as a man. A you look it's, it's, at hey. you look at pinnacle athlete women, like soccer players, basketball players. They're getting destroyed by high school boys. Mm. Yeah. See, now I'll say, I'll say this, right? I'm not so, saying we're better than you guys. Yeah. We're just better than you guys in certain yeah. aspects yeah. that so, women don't want to accept. So women are superior <laughs> in emotional stability. Mm-hmm. Also, you know, wait, emotional are, stability, wait, wait, also, wait, emo- French, emotional wait. awareness, <laughs> emotional awareness. awareness. You guys are also Bruh. more superior in terms of like you can see certain social, you know, situations better than guys can. In that respect, we have different roles to play. So you have your role to play. We have our role to play. But when it comes to strength, obviously men are supposed to be more strong. Reality you, you, also su- have this, uh, you also have this like a magical ability to create a human being. Yeah. It's yeah. called a womb. Like, yeah. we, we so can't, totally we unfair. Can't do that. Right. I like, mean, if it's not for us, you guys wouldn't be here because we, you know. Not even. It's just the sad part of even that whole process of the womb. A woman becomes extremely over emotional than what they want to be. Right. And that's just something that's natural and we cannot control because of what? Postpartum. That comes into play. The next thing you know, you had a baby with a girl and you're trying to figure out why this bitch is so emotional and crying all the fucking time. The hormones are leaving, but you don't understand that. We do. Y'all don't understand understand. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's how we have emotional awareness. It's like, you guys are really desensitized to it too. Which is good, which makes us better for combat. Also, uh, you said uh, we wouldn't be here without you. Men don't need women to survive. You guys need us to survive. Listen, honestly, men do need women because if it's not for us having you they guys, how would you be fertilize here? Us. How would you be here? To serve Adam was here on, before. Guys, I, I need you to listen very closely. I know you have a tough time with it. You're just trying to argue with me. But what I'm saying is that men don't need women to survive. Survive. You need women to propagate a society, yes. But we don't need you guys for survival. But survive. you guys need us for survival, how? 100%. Because they are protection, and they build the stuff. The day. We're yeah. not building anything. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. They're good for combat. Anything. The Thank whole you. point, like how know. he's saying, they're good for combat, Change good for leadership skills, all of that. We can jack off, and we can, no, we can do the same thing. <laughs> no, we and cannot better. do the same to thing. survive. The, the point is this, man. Like uh, the world. Again, we've civilized the world to the point where women forget the fact that the world is a cold and dangerous place. Yeah. There's a reason why, since in caveman times, if a woman did not have a, a guy by her side, she would die because she can't kill animals, go and hunt, and bring the food back. Right. As a matter of fact, a woman on her own cannot create enough calories for herself and her offspring. She needs a man to provide that. And it's ingrained in you. All of you guys, I'm sure, want a man that makes more money than you, right? I'm sure you guys yeah. all want a man that's taller than you. I'm sure you want a man that's stronger than you. That's biologically ingrained in you from a millennia of needing someone to be able to protect and provision for you. It's just in modern day times that women have been able to exist without the provisioning of a man, but it does not change the hardwiring that women need men to survive. If all the men disappeared right now, 
right? The power grids will be gone. The water infrastructure will be fucked up. Everything that has society going on the way it is right now with your modern day conveniences is controlled and run by men. But guess what? It's the same thing like women. Men need women. For what? It's for the what? same thing. To for propagate what? society, yeah. You need women to produce kids. Okay. Y'all need women to Not provide. for survival. We said survival. Listen, survival. I feel like it's the same. Merch. That's just the problem is guys, you feel like. <laughs> I feel like just Merch. how guys need women, women need men. It's the same shit. Like, well, we all no, need, not. we both need each other. Question for you. The trigger, because... the trigger you're on right now, right? Who built it? I could talk now. Who built it? Probably a man. Okay. Yeah. Probably. How, the house you live in, who built it? A man. Okay. okay. So, so that's the point. We're just saying the world you live in. She's just trying to argue, to argue, bro. Yes. No, I understand. Her feelings but... are in it. No, <laughs> I understand, but I feel like survivor. many women <laughs> like, too. Feel like. No, because you guys, you guys are sitting here saying like making it seem like it's men, men, men. But at the same time, yes, what about the women? To survive, y'all need us too to survive. That's to have it's equal. Uh, uh, Honestly, it's equal it, because guess what? It's Who's gonna feed y'all? Women Men feed ourselves. No, no. we feed y'all. Some of y'all don't cook. know how to cook. So. We cook, we clean. So who like oh, okay. Men cook better than women, I'm sorry. Yeah, there's, <laughs> uh, there's some Shit. niggas out here. Oh, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Top chefs. Top chefs are men. Are men. What are you talking about? Top chefs are men. I'm a top chef. How about that? <laughs> I look stupid. She, 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 Show right, me yeah, your credentials. Just, I don't know. I she's want my man to Yeah, bro. Like she's just here to just here to argue, man. God damn. Macandala Yasharala. Uh, yeah, my bad. I've lost brain cells. Uh, Anthony my bad, Joshua. Anthony Joshua. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, we got uh McCandle Yasharala again. again. We uh, don't all look like Kodak. Trust me, you haven't okay. seen me. People say I look like Tyson Fury. <laughs> One look, and y'all ladies will give me will give birth to my children. <laughs> I <laughs> did. Okay, and then Demi God Jones. They have selective hearing. If any woman on the panel got into a physical altercation and lived, it's because the man restrained himself, not because you <laughs> withholding uh your your, your own facts. Yeah. That's true. Oh, well. He didn't want to get hit, get hit with a murder charge. Uh, okay, uh, no days left. Besides love, what can a female do for you that you don't pay for serious? Okay, we read that already. Uh, weapons. Uh, weapons are invented by men. Indirectly, men are protecting women. Oh, cool. shit. Well, yep, All right, uh, okay, any other uh, questions? Yep, anybody any anybody else questions on the panel had some? Yes or no? Disagreements, whatever it is. No? Okay. I, 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 had a qu I had a question I wanted to ask these guys. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, something that I, I think most of the guys here would probably agree upon in terms of you, if you wanted to get into a longer term relationship with a woman, what you, what, what kind of things would you look for? Right. Most of us are probably going to say loyalty. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. Pretty quickly. Yes. 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 Of course. Oh, yes. Of course. Okay. Loyalty. Cool. So most guys are looking for a loyal woman when it comes to like a long term relationship. I want to ask the ladies, how would you demonstrate loyalty to your man? By providing. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. One at a time. We'll start here. We'll start here. Oh. And then, uh, go ahead. So how Crush. would how would I show providing loyalty? How would you show you're loyal to your man? What are some of the ways you could do that? There's different ways show, of showing. Top access. two, Sterling. Or do you want to do? Yeah, it? just give me give, give two. If you got two quick ones, give me two yeah. quick ones. Okay, two quick ones. I have to think because there's multiple ways. I guess. Well, give me one. To sh just to constantly show your appreciation, you know, whether it's, it's helping around the house or like, hey, do you need help with this or things of that sort, you know trying to even plan something special for them. Like say they've had a really hard week and you know, they've had a really hard week. So you plan like something special, like a really nice dinner and then you go to the movies and I'm not even having it where they pay. Like you do it for them. You make a special gesture. So an active service. Like, yeah. Like I put thoughtfulness service. down. Yeah, thoughtfulness. Okay. That's what I mean. <laughs> like an act of kindness. Cool. Um, I would change my lifestyle if I really loved you and I'm definitely not cheating, but that's a given. Cool. Would you give up your Instagram and your OnlyFans? Why Instagram? Because Instagram is cheating. Instagram is cheating. How? It can the be. phone it's is cheating. It's advertising. The phone is cheating. It's advertising. Think about it. It's like it's running. It's like driving around with a, a, a Yo, car with a for sale look sign. At, on it. Look at look at your DMs. I'm I'm. How many guys have you met up with th who have slid into your Instagram DMs? Not that many. Not that many, but you have done it. <laughs> we have done it. <laughs> we have done it. <laughs> done it. So there you go. That proves my point. Yeah. So if you Bro. still have an Instagram. Then Listen, you're, you're opening anything. up yourself to the potential of cheating. I would do anything to keep my relationship secure if I'm being financially cool. secure. Cool. Yeah, of course. Cool. So, cool. Okay. Cool. Janelle, how are you going to prove to me you're loyal? <laughs> <laughs> I agree with you, like not cheating and also being their number one supporter in everything um, through the ups and the downs. Yeah. My way of showing loyalty, since I'm already very brutally honest. Um, Suck his dick. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, suck his dick and fail. <laughs> like all the time. Oh, you had like, a hard no, day. That, that's really what I was gonna get into. Like, really, please, you know, his whatever his pleasures are, desires, nigga. Like, I would sit here, cook you a nice meal, give you a massage. You know what I'm saying? Make you feel wanted. Suck your dick, right? Your balls, whatever you want. Not the ass, though. I ain't saying <laughs> nothing. Like but you know what I'm saying? Like, make you feel like I'm your home. You know what I'm saying? That's be, that's really what be his right. peace. Exactly. Right. I'm not so much of a headache because I'm really like I'm a jokester. I like having fun. I like talking shit, but I don't like being a headache because the moment you piss me off, I'm just gonna walk outside and call it a day. That's All it. right. But would you would you still cheat though? Would I cheat? Hmm. Mm. Ask a Gemini this question. <laughs> I mean, it depends because um I have a very short, short fuse uh with men. So it's just like I'll cheat on you and then leave you the next day and tell you that I did it because you fucked me over. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry. Oh damn. Okay. okay. That's okay. Um, one thing about me, like this I is run... about loyalty, by the way, ladies, so we can keep it focused. Yeah, yeah. I'm more sorry. of a submissive person. If I'm in a relationship, I'm very submissive. Um, um, you know, I'm gonna try to do whatever it takes to make the relationship happy, but at the same time, I want to be happy too. So, you know, like. I wouldn't cheat or nothing like that. Like, if I'm going to do something like that, I'd rather just be single. You know what I'm saying? I I'd rather, if I'm in a relationship, I'm going to try to make it work and be submissive as I can and try to do the best. But Okay. So, yeah. you'd be submissive? Man. Yeah, a submissive. Okay. I'm a submissive person. So. You see? When I love someone, I'm super loyal to them. Um, my last relationship, I deleted my Instagram on my social media. Even though, obviously, that didn't work out. It didn't matter anyway. Mm, that yeah. is that is something I did not expect to hear. Yeah. Wow. But I'm very, very impressed with that. Yeah, no, I agree with her. I would definitely do, you know, basically whatever you want or need. Submissive. Yeah, submissive. I mean, if you're my alpha, fuck yeah. Okay. Whatever you want, daddy. What? Okay, now <laughs> can I ask the guys, what would be something that you could suggest, like something that hasn't been mm. said, that you would suggest sure. that you would like to see from a woman that would demonstrate loyalty to you? Mm -hmm. So me personally, um. I want to see a value add. So, for example, um, you guys did mention, you know, do whatever your man wants. But I let my girl to see my inadequacies in my business, maybe in certain things and say, you know what? I know that he needs me to bring him like, uh, uh, for example, right? That's some kind of, you know, I would say the uh, lawn and it's hot. You know, I'm sweating. She can see offer. OK, you know what? Fresh needs some, some lemonade or some water. Be considerate in my business helping me in certain uh, areas i would say adding that value to me is prices because at that point uh you know i could hire somebody to clean the house to cook for me you know to do certain things but having that value add to my business and to like my to my life is like yo she sees where i i fall short so she helps me in those areas so you know what by default i'm gonna take care of her to the fullest so hmm. okay the girl's answers were alarming when i was <laughs> listening uh <laughs> like <laughs> You want me to go? Let me go. Yeah, go ahead. Because I, I, yeah, I, well, I, well, 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 no, no, I took some notes. I, I saw you over there writing because mine's easy. Because I've talked to you about this before. We were when we were in the uh, the Land Rover last Range time. Over. Yeah, ran, yeah, Range, Range Rover. Talks. Last, Range talks. Yes. <laughs> um, and I told you this. I said that I think a lot of women conflate like um, uh, what is it being submissive? Like they don't like the word submissive. And I think that a lot of a lot of women say, "Well, I would be submissive to him. That will show you that I'm I'm loyal." It's like I think we kind of throw that that's a misnomer like we shouldn't be calling it that it's more about like compassion it's a genuine consider it in, yeah consider it it's knowing that guy or being so into that guy that you know things about him that he doesn't know that you know about him mm. right so you have such a genuine interest in that guy that and i i use this example um is ha, have any of you i'll ask you guys this have you ever been with a guy and maybe and you're with a guy right now have you ever been with a guy where you've bought him a birthday present or a Christmas present, a present of so a gift of some kind that you you were observant enough to say, oh, he really likes that shit. I'm gonna get him that for his birthday, and and because I know he's into that, and he doesn't know he doesn't know that I know that he's into that. It's just like she's so into you and has such because that's genuine desire. That's how you express loyalty. That's how you express like an appreciation, and that's how you express genuine. Desire. You're, I'm so into you that I want to. I want to know what you don't have to tell me what you like. I figure it out on my own to say, 
you're so cool. You're, you're my, such my alpha that I want to show you that I'm thinking about you and you don't even know that I know all this stuff about you. Go ahead. So just to add to that as well, you brought up a very good point. So mm -hmm. just to demonstrate what you're saying, uh, I met a girl, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, she saw that I was in the gym, you know, doing my thing. And, you know, uh, obviously, you know, I'm not really that gym focused. I don't have that many gym equipment. Mm -hmm. But she said, you know what? She went back to her, her hometown. She ordered me on Amazon a water bottle, some some gloves and some, and some uh, you know, some gym equipment. I was like, mm -hmm. wow. Like that initiative alone. Right. Let me say, you know what? Damn. Shorty's thinking about me like genuine, beyond. genuine interest, organic, genuine right. desire. So when when I when I say you know what's the most important thing in a relationship for a guy, anyways, is genuine desire. Like it has, it can't be mitigated. It can't be like an obligation to that. You can't negotiate genuine desire. Right. It can't be an obligation. Okay. Okay. So usually when I talk about genuine desire, it's in sex. Like suck my dick really, really good. Right. Okay. So I know you really want to have sex with me. Yeah. How else do you show genuine desire beyond the sexual, right? How do you make yourself better than just a series of holes, hey. ladies? Okay. Well, you can show that by saying, I'm so into him, or I, I understand him, or I want him so bad that I'm willing to get to know him and be able to know him and be able to like buy a, a gift for him. Or I know what his family is about. So I'm going to be I'm going to understand that from this this perspective and to have such a genuine desire for that guy that you can express that in other ways. So I, I use it. What was it? Compassionate or what was the other one? Considerate. Considerate yeah. yeah. So you're thinking about that guy. It's not so much submission. Oh, I'm going to be a little submissive wife. That's that's. Oh, yeah, fine. Submission's great. But the thing is, is I want to know appreciation organically and I want to see that genuine desire so much that you go, I bought you this gift and I know you're really into this sport or this band or this whatever it is that you're into and i got you this for your birthday because i know you really like that and you're like holy shit like and you're surprised like wow she really she's really into me that shows loyalty that shows genuine desire bam yes i got a question for the ladies and i'm giving this shit away yeah. for free <laughs> for free man yeah. like the notes. video man like like, like the video right now man come on hey marvin do you, you, you can ask some small questions no I'll... it's it's the one question that's going to okay. uh that, that'll tie into this loyalty thing cool but i got to get i, I got to get in their yeah. their feelings first all right ladies would it be fair to say that if a man that you love admire and respect put a ring on it you would it's a w for you yes marriage from a man that you love, admire, and respect, and you truly lo uh, uh, love. If it's from both sides, yes. Yeah. You're attracted to him, and he provides whatever. Do you guys know why it's a win? Can you tell me why? Because it's the same That's energy being find. received. It's hard to find. Okay. I'll help you guys out. Would 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 uh, security be a safe reason why? Yeah. You yeah. Secure, you've, you've ensured your security with a man of your dreams. Right. right? Right. Okay. So a woman wins when she gets security, right? And when I say security, security exclusivity, a man wins when he gets sexual exclusivity from a woman. So loyalty, it, it, your answer is kind of alarmed me because some of you guys wanted to keep your Instagram open. Some of you guys thought twice about having pictures of yourself up, etc. And loyalty from a woman is obeying his commands to protect you from yourself. Because here's the thing. Women want to be traditional when it suits them but they also want to be modern when it suits them yeah. they want a man that's going to provide for them protect for them be a husband a dutiful husband but if he says hey i don't want you showing your ass on the internet oh you're small dick energy how dare you and they don't want to be traditional women so all i'm saying is that loyalty what comes with it is sexual exclusivity which means even it means not parading yourself on the internet for other men to say to see just like we talked about with the louis bag if i'm paying ten thousand dollars for a louis bag and I see other people paying 100, 500, or damn near free. All of you guys had a problem with that when you went back to the Louis store. You all wanted a refund, right? That's how men feel about marriage and and uh, and loyalty and everything else like that. So, all I'm saying <clears throat> is that when it comes to loyalty, you need to cut off all options of getting a potential suitor. Mm. Mm. That's it. That, I was going to make some some very quick suggestions, and that would be like so here's like, one thing I come up like for right. Maybe delete an inst delete the Instagram. Give him access to your phone. Mm. No male friends mm. and no going out to clubs and bars. Boom. No female friends. Oh, wait, Sterling. Sterling. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Sterling. Up. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> you That's insecure a, jerk. How dare you? Let me explain why. Let me explain why, me explain why that is a, a good, a fantastic. Those four things are. 
like if any woman did those like off rip to a to, yeah i was gonna say to do dudes, them organically like, holy do shit them, like, like like without without the guy telling you like that's your natural impulse that's a win would be to do that that dude is gonna be like this Keep chick what this the... chick's a good girl i'm keeping this girl that's, around but uh, but the reason that is the only reason that works is because you're taking yourself off, off the, the table for okay. any other dude and you're not allowing yourself to be even you know you're not even putting yourself in a position where another dude can hit on you okay you, poof you've disappeared from but the can day. a guy do it who did he I did one. that. And then can a guy work. do it though? It's different. That's what we're talking about. Different standards. Like yeah. she, like if I put like a ring on like th multiple chicks' fingers, mm -hmm. you'd probably be pissed off right. at that, right? If a dude like went around and wifed up it, multiple women, yeah, they tend to get pissed. It, at it that. depends on the man. If yeah, the man is high man. status, you're gonna have to share them. Yeah. Right. Like period. If, if it, it, yeah, if like a man of high it status depends. actually likes you. It's kind of like a, I don't know, you you automatically become submissive. Right, and if he reason. already told you that he has multiple women <laughs> and you agree to it, then, you know, it's different. But Here's the thing. You don't have to agree to it or not. The reality is this. Men that are higher status have the leverage because there's far less of them than there are of you. There's very few men that make a certain amount of money, look a certain way, have certain characteristics that make them attractive to an, a, a lar large amount of women. However, beautiful women are all over the place. There's a new girl turning 18 every single day that's so taking true. a spot of a girl that just turned 30. Same yep. thing with men. No. 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 <laughs> Not at all. No. Uh, no. I don't know. Do, yes. Like, you do realize only about 15% of the U.S. population is over is six feet tall or over. Over six foot three is 3%. $100,000 per year, only 10% of the U.S. population. And that's everyone. Gay men, women, families, etc. Married men. So, if you find a guy that's six feet tall, $100,000 a year plus, and attractive, not weird, in good shape, you're literally dealing with a guy in the top like two, three percent. But last time I checked in Miami, there's hot girls all over the place. It is. Beauty is common, successful men are not. So, yeah. who has the leverage? Supply and demand. He has the leverage. You got to get on his terms. That's the byproduct of dealing mm -hmm. with a successful man. Right. Again, a man that has sex with a lot of women inherently brings value because men must create their value. A woman that has sex with a lot of dudes loses her value because she's born with value. You guys got to fight to preserve your value. We got to fight to create our value. If we do end up do creating the value, it is what it is. Men are self-made millionaires. Women are trust fund babies. Damn, that's true. And also, you would not date the 18-year-old boy because what's he going to do for you? Just yeah. give you a dick? Baby. Damn, that's so fucking true, bro. Like... <laughs> So when do you wow. take it? When do you take yourself off the market? When do you wow. when do you stop your OnlyFans? Do you stop it because the guy's there? I, here's a, here's a question for for the I don't know if it, any well, of why you stop do, your hustle. Do you any of you have children? You have children. Okay. Should you take yourself off the market if you have kids? Should you say you know what I, I'm no. gonna fu I, my mom, we were talking last night you with that one girl that was here. He said my babies come first. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Should should you be you know, at the club, should you be here on this show? Well, should you, if that's the case, if your babies come first, should you then take yourself off the market? Should you then like quit only fish? Should I mean, you why then do stop I advertising stop yourself? Okay. Well, why do I got to stop my life? Go ahead. With my baby. I think you should come first so your baby can right. be happy. That's what I'm right. saying. I got to hustle. I got to be in the club. You know what I'm saying? Especially being a single mother at the end of the day. So it's like, I got to do what I have to do. My mother, you know, she helps me out with watching him while he sleeps because that's all she needs to do. At the end of the day, it's just, no. It's yeah, me. But I don't think it's stopping. Like, I love my son to death. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not going to stop what I'm doing right now as my hustle, knowing that it's my bread and my bread and butter just because he's one years old right now. It's not going to affect him when he's 20. When he's 20, he's going to be in a house. He's going to be living good. He's going to have his trust fund because I hold my ass off for it. Right. And that's it. That's right. Can I say something? She did what she needed to do before he got older. I personally, like when I first started dancing, I told myself I was going to leave this like lifestyle, whatever alone when I was 25. Like, and that's no kids, nothing like, cause per like, no, I'm not like trying to like come be disrespectful to you or anything, but like I work in a club and Girl, I said, fuck them kids. And I still have one. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, like, in a club, like, it's hard to be doing what you need to do. And, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's hard to raise a kid and be a stripper. Like, because you got to always be on go. Like, you got to fly out. You got to dance. You Long hours. Then you got to take care of your kids. You can't sleep. Your kid wants you to stay home. You feel me? And that's not something I want personally for myself. But I understand. You but feel me? It's hard out here. Like, you feel me? It's hard out here. So Wait, I understand. Fly out? 
Huh? Fly out. I don't fly out. Fly out. She said fly out. <laughs> no, she said I'm just saying. I'm I'm like, I say, I no, say no. I booby trap on the river. <laughs> no, she said it's hard on no, no. us to have a kid. Guys, guys, guys let, her, let her finish, man. Let her finish. Let go finish. ahead. Let, let her finish. Let her finish. Please go. So, I mean, and I seen videos of where kids are getting made fun of because their moms have only fans because yeah. everybody can yes. see your parents. I went to school and kids were getting made fun of because they're like, oh, your mom's out here doing this, your mom's, and you're hearing that from people's uncles and dads, like, that's crazy. So it's like, you may not think this will ever come back to your kids, but it will. Like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, my mom found out I was stripping because, you know, everybody's telling her. So mm -hmm. it's like, it's the same thing, kind of. Like, I'm not going to say, like, it's embarrassing, but, like, I wouldn't want my kids with that on their face because I know it's going to hurt their feelings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, real. that was a, that was a very mm. yeah i mean there was a there was a thread that came out a couple weeks ago on twitter uh the six-year-old kid uh he wanted to like um delete himself we're on youtube so i can't say the word but he wanted to delete himself because they were making fun of him on the playground showing him pictures of his mom on OnlyFans. so i mean we're gonna get there soon man where it's gonna be uh there might be long-term consequences look at lana rhodes for some of you guys that don't know very famous spicy star P star uh that you know w between 18 to i think 20 well, she was in the industry for like two years. Uh, most number one, like the most searched for. She was like the most like searched for long ass star, yeah. and and now she's trying to have a kid, uh, and uh, you know, ever she's getting ridiculed for it, getting made fun of, blah blah blah, and you know, she's dealing with a lot of backlash right now. Um, same with Mia Khalifa. Yep. She just divorced yeah. her husband recently, and uh, like, with him, he divorced he, her. He, oh, he he initiated it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah he did. Yeah, because they kept sending him messages and videos of her having sex with black dudes, and she, you know, because she did the crazy stuff, she did the gang bangs, all that. So. You know, as much as we try to tell guys, you know, guys will tell you, no, it's okay. I'll accept you if you're a pastor. It's okay. No big deal. I'm, I'll, I'll, we can get through it. It's always going to bother them, man. Eventually, it's always going to bother them. Eventually, it's going to get to them. It's yeah. always going to get to them. It's going to bother yeah. us when you guys run trains on bitches and <laughs> text bitches and do different not. things with other bitches. The same shit. Like, no, it's not. It is. I it asked is. earlier. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I literally asked earlier, ladies, would you cancel the wedding if you found me? Having sex with a bunch of girls or doing a gangbang. A couple of girls said no, or they would think about it. If I asked the men the same question, day before the wedding, you see a gangbang of your wife, would you call off the wedding? Every single guy in the room said yes. Yes. That's the difference between men and women. Women want a man with a future. Men want a woman that doesn't have a past. I don't make the rules. I just report them. Right. But here, here's yeah. the scary part, right? Only man is still, still pretty new. Yeah. So who, who knows what's going to happen in the future with, like, you know, kids, you know, and internet. It could be here to stay you never know so the internet is forever question if drake walked in the room hypothetically speaking would you bang him yeah not my type cap who drake yeah fuck no drake drake let me drake. suck that dick <laughs> okay yep no if it's beneficial <laughs> I'm Yo, no. Drake. She's honest. At least she's honest. Yo, Drake, come here. <laughs> <laughs> she's yeah. trying to get the bag. I just look at him as a regular Cap. person. Hey, what's up, Drake? What's up? Stop How you Cap. doing? All right, never mind. Uh, uh, okay, moving on. Super chats. Uh, then... uh, did you have something else to write? No, that was it. Okay, yeah, super All right, super chats. And then, and then uh, last, last round, the last thoughts. Uh, okay, Nobunaga Black. Oh. Okay, uh, Ale 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 Aaliyah Wright. Aaliyah Wright. Okay, 50 dollars. Funny. Did all of what Sterling Cooper said for my ex and still got cheated on? SMH, LOL, I'm petty. Much love to Fresh and Fit. Your podcast and Kevin Samuels changed my whole perspective on life. Big ups. Uh, all of what? Is that a girl? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Aaliyah, you got to remember, man, if a man steps out and has sex with another woman, it's not that big a deal. Look, here's the thing. Like, Why would you even want to be with a dude who couldn't have sex with other? Like, that, why would you want something that no one else wants? Exactly. Why would you want a dude that... If, okay, let, let's hypothetical scenario. I don't want to derail you for like forever, but he has to like make you jealous at some point. Otherwise, you're gonna get bored, and you got like th that's the thing. He's doing it for you, really. He's really being selfless right. by by <laughs> fucking around. So fucking he true, really is. He's because the girl because you. he's keeping you. He's keeping you happy. That's he true. by him being able to fuck other girls. He's it's keeping so, you happy they because appreciate if, you're, if he can't do that. You get bored of his ass and yep. you cheat on him. That's what I guess. That's a, I listen, you have this very confused face yeah. on, but the sad part about this whole thing, 
men will fuck three to four women right before they get to their wives and realize that they appreciate the fuck out their wives women. Yep. Yes. by the moment they get home. That's, That's true. so true. Yeah. Out of the That's five so girls, they well, just stuck their dick in. And it's because she but gives him something more than that. The that other girls that don't get it's that, the other girls don't sex. get sex. Yeah. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? That's the one thing I understood about men. Wow. Mm -hmm. No matter what, they're going to cheat. You gotta right. let a dog be a dog. Is either he knows what home is, and that's it. Yeah, that's so like, true. Damn, he's that cheated is. for you. No, okay. that's true. That's that's real. He's cheated that's to make true. me better. Okay, cause so, I know he probably cheated. So, do you finally acknowledge that a woman that has sex with a lot of dudes is not the same uh, that uh, as a dude having sex with a lot of women? It's completely different. Wait, what? No, because she was having contention. Well, I, I should be able to do the same, and I'm trying to say no. You can't. Like, it's not the same. Like, if you no, bang a bunch of dudes, you even said to yourself, women have emotional investment. We can't just fuck. Proves my point more. Men can though, <laughs> like yeah, y'all can because y'all don't care about bitches. Us, we have a emotional attach. So when we fuck a guy, we get emotional. You well, guys, y'all can fuck yeah. anybody and don't get emotional at all. my point even further. Yeah. You would be horrible on a debate team. Uh, <laughs> oh, like, hey, like you're literally doubling down my points. She would be. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, don't be happy okay. okay. with your headphones. Okay, so um, on the good. panel, are we caught up, Chris? Yeah, we caught up. Oh, okay. Last thoughts on the show. Hate it, love it, you have fun. How was the show for you? We'll start here. I love it. All right. You can say you hate it. Okay. <laughs> I had fun, yeah. How's the show for you? Honestly, I had an amazing time and it taught me a lot. Awesome. All right. You sure? That's good. <laughs> Chris. Let's do this again because I know we have fun. Right. Hey, there you go. <laughs> it's always a fun time, so thank you for having me. You were first time she came without her crazy friend. You were quiet most of the show. Were you taking in the information? And Always. Like, okay. <laughs> free game, man. Free yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Right. It was cool. I like people's ideas and perspectives. You kept it so real, man. God mm. damn it. I did. Mm, I'm my... like, I really yeah. held back a lot. That shit hurt my balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, ha I had a lot of fun, and I think it's interesting to see how every person almost has a different perception. Even if it's the same, there's still variations of it. Right. So I find it very interesting. And Rolo and Sterling. Tell them where they can find y'all, man. I am at therationalmail.com. You can find me there. I am also on Twitter. I am Rolo Tomasi at Rational Mail. And you can also find all of my books, all four of them, on Amazon. And then my channel on YouTube is The Rational Mail. And I've got a new clips channel, too. So Check that out. Check all the out links him. are below. I put all and and uh, the Thotties uh, series is the also thotties? down uh <laughs> Yes, yeah, what we saw before. Yeah. Before, uh, it's uh, it's in the description below. And then uh, Sterling, what about you, man? You can go also go to SterlingCooper.com, find all my stuff there. Go onto my YouTube channel. Just type in Sterling Cooper into YouTube, and I teach you dudes. I give you a ton of free advice. Teach you how to lay pipe properly. Mm. So you can oh, you can see us happy. on rule zero occasionally. Occasionally, too, yeah. occasionally. Yeah. And uh, guys, real quick, we just dropped on Patreon the video of last night. The go gang gang kicked out. Oh, okay. Six, six, nine. Nine. six nine girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't tell the studio. Jesus Christ. That was crazy, man. Guys, also, oh. do me a quick favor. Like the video. There's 11,000 of you guys in here. Before you click off on the video, like, like the, the video, video, man. And also, all the lovely ladies on the panel, all their links are below in the description box, Mods. except for the blondie. I took her shit out. Fuck that bitch. Uh, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, guys, check uh, check the girls out. Go ahead. If you want to shoot your shots, send your dick pics over, whatever it is. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys. Um, we'll catch you guys on Monday. 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 We'll catch you guys Monday because uh, Trey's sick and... Uh, we got a, a stacked week next week, man. So we got to recoup, guys. We got, we got, recoup. we got, we got uh, Long Beach Griffey coming. We got Young Don the Sauce. Like guys. the video, guys. We got uh, who else? You know what? I can't say the rest because I I don't want to spoil it. But there you go. All right, a we'll lot. catch you guys on Monday. Please like the video, man. We'll catch you guys on Monday at 7 p.m. where we're gonna talk about Money Mondays. Uh, we're probably gonna talk about. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna probably talk to you guys about my top five credit cards to help you guys get cash back. Boom. All right, that's that we'll, we'll help you guys finesse with credit. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.